There it is. There it is. And of course, the second we go live, the dogs are out there acting like assholes. A-holes. God. <laughs> Fucking dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yo. Yeah. All right, I think we're live. Let's check. That's good. That's good. That's good. Got both cams. We got all the cams. A cam, B cam. Testing, testing. What up? We got sound. All right. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, bitches. We are back. I have to give myself some credit. We've been pretty good on these live streams. This is like a new thing for me being like regular with something. Other than the couple yeah. week break we it's a big had. Deal. Other than the couple week break we had because the room was fucked. We've been on every week. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and pat 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 myself on the back for that one. Proud of you, babe. <laughs> Good evening. Maybe it's ever. because I'm here. That is. You help. You you help. You help, you help stabilize me. <laughs> uh, good evening, everybody. Let's see who we got in here. Frank to take. Let's see. Thera, Th Theron? Thera, is that Theron? Theron? Theron. Theron. Or, I don't know. I'm really I, mean, bad I, could, I could be wrong. By the I way, like to just say it the opposite of you. <laughs> I always apologize in advance for anybody's name that I butcher because I am hooked on phonics. Chris is in here. Metalhead D, what's up? Uh-oh, my man Beaver Punch is in the house. Brobot, Chris, Ryan, more beaver. <laughs> Lots of beaver up in here. <laughs> Jared, the world within. Dustin M, what's up, dude? Doug. Hey, David. The block, the blocklinger, the blocklinger, the blocklinger, the, the blocklinger. Oh, my God, move on. Uh, Michael, Ryan, Brad, oh, Alpha Foxington. I think I actually nailed that. Fucking nailed it. Hello, Mike El Dorado. Josh Edwards. Piper in the Bay, what's up? Oh, God, I knew I was about to see some Rune King up in here. The Mead Maker. I always like to say hello to, hello to a few. Big Vic's Backyard, BS. David Stewart, there's my dude. Um, all right. I think I said hey to a few of y'all. I, I, like mm -hmm. I don't like to read too long because you guys are like, this is a fucking live stream of him reading off names. But I do like to say hello to my peeps. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and hanging out. Uh, tonight we have some cool shit, as always. It, it just so works out that, like, I always get a cool delivery, right, of the day of the live stream. Mm -hmm. I got another, like, last week it was the premier body armor came. And this week some axes that I'm going to show you guys came from a company <laughs> called Hardcore Hammers which they make some of the, I mean, what's more manly than a badass ax? It doesn't get much more man shit than that. Just a badass ax. I'm over here talking to you. You're fucking uh, out in the left field here. I was just straightening my <laughs> computer over here. I said, is there anything more manly than a badass ax? I don't think there is. Um, I think a badass ax is about as manly as it gets. We got a good cigar tonight, albeit a fairly expensive cigar tonight. This is a... Uh, and isn't this the one you said it took a long time to smoke? <laughs> She's so not, maybe you she's, should not, she, she's not a cheapie, and we're going to get into it pretty quick because it is a, a bit of a longer smoke. But that's good if it's more expensive. It, sure, It sure. would suck if it smoked really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I, it, we'll get into that when we get into the cigar. I think it's worth it. I, I don't know that it's, like, bang for your buck worth it, but I think it's worth it, meaning I think it's – it holds up to what it's worth. Yeah. But it's not like a value cigar. It's not like, man, I can't believe they're making this for this price. Like, they're proud of those motherfuckers, but yeah. I think they're worth it. Yes, David. I'm drinking something different. Yeah, David. We were reading. We were sitting here getting everything lined up. We saw you said it's your whiskey. Made. Whiskey ginger ready. Uh, I was making another. I, had, I really enjoyed starting the evening off with a sentimental genitals. A sentimental gentleman last week. I thought that it was just a good, nice drink to warm into the evening. It went really well with the cigar. I was making one. And I was like, man, you should really try one of these. You, and she's like, I've oh. had one before. Well, yeah, but it's been a while. Yeah. And I said, would well, you want me to make a double? And I can just, she goes, yeah. And I said, yes. So she, we are both having sentimental gentlemen's. And it's, it's tasty. It, it's a good one, isn't it? Yes. I love it. We talked about it last week. It's a, Benedict, a half ounce of Benedictine, a half ounce of walnut liqueur, two ounces of monkey shoulder blended scotch. I really taste the walnut in there. This it's it's really good. I love it. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, 
just realized. I may still have whiskey ginger after. Miller, you just we'll realized see. I didn't upload a video on the main channel. Did I miss something? Nope. Nope, he's a slacker. Well, I've been doing, uh, <laughs> the next video that's coming out is we've been remodeling this room. So it took a little longer than I thought. Uh, so the video is, it should be out hopefully by the end of the week. I'm hoping. Um, I've got most of it shot. I need to do a couple finish up things and finish the edit. I've kind of been editing as I go along at night after I quit building for the day. I would come and edit. So it should be this week, hopefully. But yeah, you didn't miss anything. I'm just a little behind the ball. Um, so that's that's how she rolls. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Patricia says, had a, had a shitty day at work. Uh-oh. A little whiskey with some sweet tea. Where's Patricia? I don't see Patricia. Patricia, right there. It says Patricia, right? I'm reading that correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't, I just, I'm, I'm Sorry sure you had a it. shitty day, Patricia. I, I, I'm usually with me, a good cigar and a pour of whiskey. And uh, about 30 <laughs> minutes later, most of that shitty day has dissolved. Yes. So hopefully we can make your evening a little better, even if your day sucked. Uh, who else we got? What else we got in here? The gun room. Yep, the gun room. We're working on I got most of the gun wall up. Not, not all the guns up and stuff, but the wall up. The flat wall itself from uh, Hold Up Displays. So the guys at Hold Up Displays. And, and I'll go over that in the video, but dude, I love it. It is fucking heavy duty. I love it. I think it's going to be great. I got a cool idea with like a workbench. It's going to look like kind of like a console, but I'll also be able to clean guns at it and stuff. And then I'm going to have a TV that goes, <laughs> and comes up and uh, automatically so that it doesn't take up gun wall space. It'll come up in front of the guns when I want to watch it, but when I don't, it's going to some James Bond shit down behind the gun. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. The whole gun room will not be done in the video that I'm posting. This was like the first stage. As always with me, all my videos are like three parts because I take forever to do shit. So this was like the demo and getting the, the slat wall up and then there will be a couple more installments yeah. before the, the build is complete. Yeah. But it should be derp. should be derp. Oh, dude, by the way, y'all see the shirt? Come on, dude. That shit's hilarious. Premier Body Armor sent me this. Ramdo. Can anybody guess? I'll throw it to the chat. Let's see. Does anybody, would anybody guess where, what the, uh, the inspiration. Uh, inspiration for this shirt was? The guy, the guys at Premier. Does anybody know? Let's see. Let's see what the chat says. Somebody I'll, asked what you, what was your, your dinner, your Father's Day dinner? Dinner whiskey cigar combo. Steak. I don't remember what the whiskey cigar was. I don't know if you had. Oh, I know what my whiskey. I don't. I don't remember what my whiskey was, but I remember my cigar was. I smoked one of these. Oh yeah, I, that is right. I uh, I smoked one of these because I put it in. Oh, I got to get it. It's over there. Uh, the last couple of weeks I've been slacking. I haven't made the entry into my cigar bible prior to the live. So Father's Day, I smoked this cigar and loaded it into the old cigar bible and, and cataloged it. And my dinner was steak. A nice uh, big, big thick daddy that we did a reverse sear where I smoked it on the smoker for a little while first and then we seared it off on the flat top. D fucking licious with a big old loaded baked tata. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And some salad. And some salad. That's like my favorite Gotta dinner. Stay a little dude. healthy. Big old fat steak and a baked potato. Give me a fucking break. That shit is delicious. That's like my favorite dinner. Uh, let's see. Has anybody said anything about the shirt? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Haven't seen. So not Bambi. No, not Bambi. No. Um, our, and I tried to get political on this he live. He always says that. Um, this is going to be very mildly political. Okay. I'm <laughs> not going to get deep into the politics, but our lovely and wonderful president that we've currently got. Can you smell the sarcasm? Uh, made a comment one time that uh, he didn't understand why anybody needed High capacity, what they call high capacity. It's actually normal capacity magazines, 30, 40 round magazines. He's like, it's not like the deer have Kevlar vests. <laughs> Ramdo, deer, Kevlar vest. It's kind of a, a joke that they made because Biden, for some reason, likes to think that the Second Amendment is only about hunting, which isn't what the Second Amendment's about. But I'll stop there with the politics and we'll move right along. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, yes. See, Beaver Punch. <laughs> uh, be, I, God save the queen. God save the queen. <laughs> Did you see that? Jesus, <laughs> fuck. dude, I feel bad for the guy oh, at this man. point. Like, 
I just, I just wish. I, okay, I'm not going to get into anyway, politics. I'm not going to get into politics. Moving on. I think most agree, but he's just the biggest. I mean, disappointment of any president I've ever seen in my entire life. Like mm-hmm. he's he's bad. He's real bad. In 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 a way that I f- <laughs> I feel bad for him. Like at first I was mad at him because of how incompetent he is, but now at this point I actually feel bad for him, because he just like you see him walking up there. He's like, no, it's <laughs> it's it's really it's like that Jesus Christ. He's being puppeted around. I mean, like, just for God's sakes, let that poor man die. Just let him do his that, to not, be. Well, not die. Necessarily. Well, I don't mean like that. I just mean like go be an old man <laughs> and do what most old men do. Like. Go sniff some little girl's hair or oh, something. Stop. <laughs> he, he does have a creepy thing about sniffing people, dude. What is up with that? Know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Okay. Anyway, enough about the politics. We'll get people fired. Let's talk up. about the submarine. We'll get, we'll get, no, let's fuck the submarine, man. Seriously. You think they're going to find it? I don't think I give a shit. That's what a bunch of rich retards get for fucking around in submarines <laughs> at the bottom of the retards. ocean. Huh? Don't call them that. What other word would you use other than retard? Just idiots. Idiots. Same thing. We were born in the 80s. Means the same thing. It's about the name. (laughs) I don't know why I'm worried about saying bad thing about about Biden. I'm actually seeing... uh, No, everybody I'm sure agrees (laughs) with you. Everybody here is like piled on. They're like... These fucking guys, he shakes hands with ghosts. (laughs) Fucking idiot. (laughs) He does. Have you seen him do that shit where he's like... (laughs) <laughs> and you're like, Who, what the fuck are you doing, it's dude? It's unfortunate. Oh, it's God unfortunate. damn. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I got off on a bit of a tangent there. Got off on a bit of a tangent. What submarine? Are you joking, Chris? Chris, you're my man. There's a reason Chris doesn't know about submarines, because he's got important shit to Come do. Come on. Like me. I got important shit it's to do. It's all over the news. I ain't it's all wor- anyone's talking about. Dude, I was actually, like, angry when I saw that on the news today. I was like, all the shit that's going on in the world. Well, all, all the stuff. It's convenient that it's the same day that Hunter Biden got like it, it, exactly just a little a little all, slap on the wrist. All the important shit that's going on in the world, and every time I click mm. through a news channel, they're talking about this fucking submarine. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit about this sub. Fuck that submarine. How about the fact that Hunter Biden's getting away with fucking everything, mm-hmm. everything? I'm telling you. You're going to get me fired up. You're going to get me fired up. I need to drink more whiskey. <laughs> I need to drink more whiskey. Oh, this fucking... I'm getting I'm getting suction over here. Oh, this is one of those fucking... Uh, it's one of those spinners. It's a whiskey. It's a whiskey spinning, spinning whiskey glass. Spinning. Um, it's, I do not see Tom in this chat. And he said he was going to be on it. Oh, Tom doesn't know what Tom... See, it's a spinner. It spins. Spin... You should go ahead and light this up. I should go ahead and light that up. We need to we need to hit the B roll. Light it up, up, up. We need to hit hit the B roll. Hit the B roll. Where's all the shit? Let me make sure I'm caught up with everybody here. Okay, we're good. Nothing crazy going on in the chat that I need to address. Let me get this cigar going, guys, because this is a long one. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, there's Tom. Hello, Tommy. There's Tom. I mean, I'm surprised. Tommy, you te- didn't change your name. Technology uh, is not always his friend. Well, he was going to try to change his name from Tom to something more interesting, but um, I don't think that happened. Because um, it still just says Tom. Well, dude, I have to say. Welcome, Tom, everyone. In his defense. Oh, motherfucker. I didn't think he could change it because it's like it's your YouTube name, right? No, you can change your YouTube name. Oh. Um, I think we're good. A little tight. We'll get there. Let's get this cigar lit before we go any further. Ladies I, I want to answer a question first. Okay, well, go ahead. You keep telling me to light the cigar. Oh, well, go, go ahead. No, no, no. no. Fuck it. Answer your question. Somebody was asking about the journal, the leather journals. that They have the whiskey bottle, but they want the just a plain like journal. I think that's what you're asking for. Okay. It's n- what the fuck are you talking about? The journals. The we don't sell plain journals. We have a whiskey Bible. Not whiskey. yours. The ones that are like that. I don't know what you're talking about. The simil- the not yours. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Go ahead, do your cigar. The, the the we have a whiskey Bible, a cigar Bible. I know, a blank one. 
Oh, well, I mean, mine's made custom. Like, they don't make those blank. Now, there's a company that makes something similar. Similar. That's yes. what I'm talking about. Do you see this face? Do you see the fucking face? Do y'all see? See, here's what the truth is. We've had a few episodes now. It's just like when you first start dating. She's all sweet in the beginning. <laughs> acts like she's just sweet as sugar and never does. And now, last week or this week, you're seeing the sass. The sassiness coming out. Sassy. That face you just gave me. See, she's still giving it to me. Give me the face. <laughs> see the look. <laughs> uh, see, Tom says, like, fuck you, Tom. Tom says, light the damn cigar. Light it up. Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. You don't know what you're getting into here, my friend. Getting on the live streams. We already have time. Light it up. We already have time up. on a live stream. We can have all three of us on a live. We could have... Y'all remember Tom? Does anybody here remember Tom? He's, he used to be on videos quite a bit back in the day when we did vlogs and stuff. And he was on the video. We did the, the rib cook-off video. He was on that video. Good friend of mine. We've been friends since high school. Look, Tom. He's instigating in here. Get him, Big Al. Listen to this he motherfucker. He always has my back. Tom listen always has to, my back. Listen to this guy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> she said, don't ever put your lady on the spot. Uh, that's the great thing about saying live. I can put her on the spot. And then we get to watch what happens. <laughs> All right, let's get the fucking B-roll going here. Hold on. What the fuck is going on here? B-roll, cigar for the night is... Let's see. Tonight we have the Placenta, Placencia, Alma, <laughs> Alma Fuerte. Alma Fuerte. It is, uh, I forgot what the size of this one is actually. It's a 60, I think it's a six by 60 and it's a, like a hexagon type, uh, weird box press type shape. It's probably the only cigar I've ever seen like this. Um, really cool, bands are beautiful on these things and I'll go over the blend when I get my cigar. Will you get my, uh, my cigar bottle? Oh, Oh, jeez, sure. this <laughs> chick. Um, Nice dark wrapper. It's, I, I really, it's a pretty cigar. I mean, look at that. See that close up on there? See the, the veins? No. Um, very good looking cigar. Very expensive cigar. Well, I shouldn't say very expensive. It's not terribly expensive. It is, I think it's around 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 ish, 20 ish dollars. Get the old cigar Bible out. Let's see. Yeah, 21 to 22 bucks. It's a Nicaraguan. So it's a, a puro. A puro. 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 A puro. It's a Nicaraguan. I think it's a puro. It's a filler, binder, and wrapper or Nicaraguan. It's saying in the filler and the binder, there is some Jalapa, some Condega, and some Ometepe, which are all three tobaccos that I tend to enjoy. Generally speaking, if there is some Ometepe or, gotta make some room here, some Ometepe or some Condega or some Jalapa, generally speaking, I'm gonna dig that cigar. It's kind of like the um, Connecticut Broadleaf wrappers. I generally like, um, where are we at here? Oh, super chat, super chat. Metalhead D, what's up? Light the damn cigar, man. It's one twenty here. <laughs> Metalhead, that's what I'm doing, brother. We're getting on it right now. You actually had another super chat, a little bit above that. Did it I? was it was Piper on the bay. He said, "Let's go, Brandon." Piper on the bay. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. I'm saying, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. What am? Do you want me to on? read your super chats for you today? I I, I feel like. You're, 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 you're going to be spicy now. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be spicy. Why don't you drink some of that drink? <laughs> then not be more spicy. You need to be, no, you just get frisky when you drink. You don't get spicy. I get a little spicy. You don't get, you think you get spicy? I think you're more of a frisky drunk than you are a spicy drunk. I can't think of any time you've ever gotten like angry at me when you're drunk. No, not, not angry. Oh. I just mean like bust your balls a little bit. Oh, well, I mean. You know, nothing, not like mean. There's nothing wrong with some good nature ball busting. Oh, there's Carl. Carl, we were just talking about you. Carl, she said you weren't on here last week. He wasn't. I could have swore he stopped in. Don't think so. I don't think so. There's Nicole. Nicole was not here. 
last week either, I don't think. I didn't see you. Oh, shit. Watching from the ER. Oh, no. Watching from the ER? Got hit by a bus. What? I hope y'all are okay. Her and her wife, she said they were in a car accident and got hit by a bus. Got hit by a fucking A. <laughs> I hope y'all are okay. Are you? They're, they're, they're watching the live. Well, so they're I guess watching they're the live, so hopefully she's all right. all right. That is uh, like worst case scenario. I know. Gosh. I mean, that's like literally like when like you have a bad hangover, you say, I feel like I got hit by right. a bus. Like, now that, you literally know because, what yeah, that feels like. Because, I mean, that's like worst case scenario <laughs> is getting hit by a fucking bus. So, yes, that that uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I, I hope, hope you guys are all right. I know hope, the ER is not a fun place to be. I hope you guys are okay. See, Carl said I missed last week. Did you? But you were here the week before. <laughs> he said, why are you so clean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's get this thing. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. I really like this cigar. Um, like I said, it's one of these cigars that it's kind of expensive. So I, it's not like I'm super like, oh, my God, for, it's a lot of value in it. But I do think for a special cigar, I think it's worth it. I, I think it's good. I don't think it's something you smoke daily. I think it's something you keep some of in your humidor and you smoke them on special occasions or whatever because uh, they are good. Super Chat, Joseph, what is it? First time actually joining live. My man, I always watch them after. You have helped me learn about cigars and whiskey. Also, get them nods. Thank you, my brother. This will go directly into the Nods Fund Faux Show. I don't know what we're up to, the current tally. I knew you were going to ask me, and uh, I added it up the other day, and I have it written down in my planner but i cannot remember what's well, not doing as much good the there total is it, is it now um well no not at this not, <laughs> I was, at, I was trying, not at this i was trying to provoke moment. i was throwing a few more shots across the bow to see if i could get you fired up i should stop fucking. i can tell you what it is though i can stop messing with you tonight Ew, uh, lucy J what josh oates Humpy. my man appreciate the super chat uh, couldn't find tonight's stick, so a T-52 it is. That's also a very good cigar, my man. However, S -E te Southeast Texas is hotter than the devil's asshole and humidity <laughs> to boot, so humid that relighting is becoming annoying. Recommendations. Yeah, smoke inside. <laughs> that's the same. Bro, that's the same problem here. Like, it's funny because I think people in the north – like cigar rooms because it gets so fucking cold. They don't want to sit outside when it's like colder than a witch's tit and, you know, smoke down here in the South. It's to get away from the heat, man. It's so fucking hot that smoking a cigar is miserable sometimes. And then you get into the summer and the fucking mosquitoes are everywhere and it's humid and your cigar keeps like going out and doesn't want to stay lit. It gets all mushy and boggy because it's just over humidified. It's rough, dude. Smoke indoors. That's that's about either that or dry your cigar out before. Um, I know some guys that do that. They'll actually set the cigar out instead of leaving it in a humidor. They'll actually set it out on the counter of their house, like in an air conditioned house where it's dry and let it dry out a little further than you normally would want to smoke it at. So that way, when you go outside and it's like uber humid, it kind of stabilizes a little bit. You could try that. I've heard guys say that works. I've never personally tried it, but like I said, it's a suggestion. Um, but I appreciate the super chat. And trust me, living here in Florida, I completely sympathize you with being as hot as the devil's taint because mm -hmm. if Texas is as hot as the devil's asshole, Florida's the taint. We're right there next to you between the balls and the ass. It is hot. <laughs> All right. It is hot. So hot, hot from, from the t-shirt in the water. Ah. <laughs> We're back to this uh, James. James. Uh, why do I keep wanting to say James Taylor? That's not him at all. Is it James Taylor? No, it's James. Fuck. What's his name? Why do I keep screwing that up? Uh. Is it James Taylor? No. James Taylor sings like. Uh, James Taylor's the guitar. Slow. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? James Martin. No. Rick James. No, Rick James. Is Ricky Martin. Rick <laughs> it's definitely not Ricky Martin. It is for sure. This is our this is our nods total. Twelve hundred and fifty four dollars so far in the nods fund. So good work, fellas. We appreciate every penny. And once that gets up to the grand total, we going to purchase some bad boys. <laughs> I still got to reach out to um, James Brown. Thank you. James Brown. 
How the fuck was I saying Rick James and everything else other than James Brown? God damn. The this, this chat knows all, bro. I'm telling you, the chat knows all. Um, I, um, oh, and he was saying he couldn't find the T50, the, the, the cigar. Uh, that is why I put together a list for you guys, and I have a link. Uh, I, can't a link? Te- I can't tell you guys, go here, because YouTube gets weird about if you're pushing sales of cigars. But I will say, if you click below... I have, it'll take you to my website and I have a supporting post that has a link to somewhere where we have compiled all these for you. Um, so if you do want to buy them ahead of time, there's a place to where you could, if you wanted to do that. Um, <laughs> it's the most vague. I, well, yeah, I've got to be vague cause I don't want to break any rules. Uh, but yeah. So obviously always, if you have a place you prefer to go or you have a brick and mortar, but we always do have a spot where you guys could do that. And that way you could smoke them with us during the live. So always don't forget to check it out, to check it out, check it out. Everybody's like James Brown, James Brown, James Brown. You're an idiot. I know. Eddie Murphy, SNL. Yep, dude. That was the, that was what made me. We have to say a little shout out to Lila. She said, hi, Miss Lila. And we, we love you too. Where's Miss Lila? Oh, there she is. Tom says, Lala says, hello. <laughs> hello, Lala. Hello. <laughs> Rick James, bitch. It's, it's like, what does the hand say to the face? Slap. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking slapped the shit out of him. Such a good fucking, oh, God. Between the uh, James Brown stuff on SNL and then the Rick James stuff on uh, Dave Chappelle show, that was some of the funniest shit ever made. Ever made? No? Ever. Do you don't think so? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't watched it. <laughs> You've never seen Dave Chappelle show? Are you fucking killing me, Smalls? Are you seriously right now? I blame you. Blame me? I've tried to get you to watch it, and you either fall asleep or you're like, this is boring. This I like is, to watch this, stuff about this is boring. murder is, and true crime is, and is, missing submarines. Is there a show where somebody's dying? <laughs> Somebody killed their husband. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh God, I cannot fucking believe you've never seen the Dave Chappelle show. I mean, no, not really. I don't. I didn't like. Wa- I didn't watch it. What did the five fingers say to the face? Slap. Uh, nothing. No. Oh God. I mean, I've I've heard the lines and stuff, but I I didn't <laughs> ever watch it. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. <laughs> Fuck your couch. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe you've never do that. Some of the shit that Dave Chappelle did back in the day. Was I know, some David. The, leave me alone. It was some of the funniest stuff that's ever been on TV. It really is. Some of the funniest shit ever. Chris, I think I think that's why SNL sucks now. See, it didn't used yeah, to be. It, it didn't used to be liberal. It wasn't political before. It's it was, gotten very it, political. It was just funny. Right? Like back in the 70s and 80s, SNL was just funny. And now it's just fucking sucks. It's, uh, everybody's had to like make things. I would say like 80s and 90s SNL was. Yeah, 70s, was funny. 70s 80s, and 90s. I know. And then, my parents used to watch it every weekend. And then uh, now it's just, it's just a bag of assholes. <laughs> David Stewart said. I know. I know. Everybody's making fun of me. Well, dude, I just. Some of the most iconic shit that's ever been broadcasted is stuff that you haven't seen. I just, I would never watch something like that. Like I would watch it with you, but I wouldn't watch that but, on my own. But why? It's so funny, dude. You, mm-hmm. you really should. You should. Uh, Kevin says you should binge those. I don't you, like to watch like that kind of stuff by myself. Oh, dude. It's so funny. It's so funny. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch it. Hold my drink, I'll bitch. Watch it with you. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's so many... Dave Stewart says he loves you, Al. Even though you're, even though you're, I know. Uh, I'm sheltered. Even though you're, uh, what's I'm the? I'm in a true crime bubble. You're, you're, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're uh, not socially, uh, like, not socially, because socially you do fine. What's the word for like somebody who isn't up on like current shit? I'm up on current shit. Not like that kind of shit. I mean, I'm on like, top of the submarine. I'm okay. not talking about the whatever liberal bullshit story that they're on telling in the news to try to keep you distracted from the fact that government's overtaking everything and the fucking world's falling apart. Um, I'm on top of that stuff too. No, but like, what's the like the what's the word for like like all the like the 
Pop culture. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm on top of pop pop culture, baby. You are fucking not on top of pop culture. Yes, I am. You haven't. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Yes. Okay, so you saw Numerous times. But what was the other show we were talking about last week that everybody was like, you haven't fucking seen that? There's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen. That, but that's what I'm talking about. And they're like pop. But being on top of pop culture does not just have to do with what movies and shows I've watched. No, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That means like current events. I'm on top of that. A minute. Mindhunter. I haven't seen that. Somebody, I see somebody said another vote for Mindhunter. So something Mindhunter must Mine be. Mindhunter. Must be a. a Yes, I've seen Friday many times. Oh, dude, that reminds me. Spaceballs. That was Spaceballs, I've seen that. Spaceballs was such a great show. Yeah. So good. So good. Uh, superstar. Superstar. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. I tell you what else. Dave Chappelle's stand-ups are really good. Dave Chappelle is just a funny motherfucker, period. Okay, between his stand-ups and um, the Dave Chappelle show, and the fact that he basically just walked away from a shit ton of money because he didn't want to do it. And they were, I think they were trying to like want him to do something in a way he didn't want to do it. And they offered him like millions of dollars. And he he's was like, like, he's like, peace, bitches, I'm out. <laughs> Did not give a fuck. It just walked. So I you, wouldn't either if I already had all that money. So you got to get Why him is he going to do something he doesn't want to do? I don't know that. Um, dude, the Tyrone Big sk- Bigums uh, skits were the best. Police I, I, Academy. And they I, don't and, make movies like they did. And I'm pretty sure then, that the, the Tyrone Biggums, I think that was the skit that you have to be careful when you talk about it because you'll offend some people. I don't know who that is. I think those are the skits. That's a person or that's a character? I think that was a character of Dave Chappelle. He was a, he was a black white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the, wasn't that, was that the black white? And that was the genius of Dave <laughs> Chappelle. That was the genius of Dave Chappelle is he was a. Because you're like. He was a blind <laughs> black white supremacist. Oh, he was blind. And he didn't Did know, not he, know he was black. No, it was fucking hilarious. I think he might have shown me some And I can't before. even say some of the shit that he said because <laughs> it's ridiculous, but like That's it was funny. so damn funny, dude. It was so damn funny. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> he said, I'm watching Bluey, Thomas the Tank, Wiggles, and Paw Patrol because I have a two year old. Dude, I've. We've, we went through the Wiggles. What was the other one? We, Princess Sophia? Charlotte's back on. Princess She's back Sophia. on Princess Sophia. She's like she had rewatching. That, like she had that back up the other day. What were some yeah. of the other shit we used to watch? The Wiggles. What did Jarrett watch all the time? The Wiggles and what else when he got older? He watched. He Princess watched Sophia. <laughs> cars. He watched Cars a ton. Him and Caden. Caden liked Thomas the Train. Caden T- T- liked. Th- I remember Jarrett went through a Cars. And cars. Phase. They both liked Cars. Jarrett had every fucking car in the color changer cars. Mm-hmm. And oh god, that was a whole thing. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right, who's Clayton Bigsby? Why is everybody saying Clayton, Clayton Bigsby. Bigsby? Oh, that was the blind guy? Clayton Bigsby, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That was the blind white supremacist. Oh, okay. Peppa Pig, yeah, we watched Charlotte liked Peppa Pig, too. What did Adventure First Smurf say? After Beverly Hills Cop, Eddie Murphy went downhill. Yeah, he did, man. Back in the 80s, Eddie Murphy was kind of the man. And then um, I, he did. It kind of like he started making all the nutty professors and like all kinds of like stupid shit. And it was like, uh, okay. Because back in the day, Eddie Murphy was like, he was in like the Beverly Hills Cops. He had Raw, Delirious. He did some stand ups. He did some other movies. And then he started doing like. Well, and he was more kind of like. Um I think when he started doing the not ki- controversial, but like well, yeah, like that, on the edge of right, like right, right, and then he kinda, started started doing like the kitty shit, yeah, and it was like, oh come on, Eddie Murphy, yeah. stick with you, what you know, man, you were always kind of on the edge, it's like Arnold doing like Kindergarten Cop and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Not that Arnold was controversial mm-hmm. ever, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he mm-hmm. got away from all his like yep. war muscle movies. Yep, yep, yep. Tyrone yep, yep. was the crackhead. <laughs> Dude, there was a. I'm telling you, Dave Chappelle. Some of those skits were we have to, we'll have to rewatch that because I'm if I'm, I'm I think they have them on Netflix. I think. I think, I know they have all the Dave Chappelle standups <coughs> on Netflix <coughs> because I've watched them. I think they have all the Dave Chappelle show. He does all this stuff with Charlie Murphy. Oh God, it's it's hilarious. I'll have to, I'll I'll. 
Super chat metalhead D. Him. What's up? My ma is now in the hospital with stage. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Stage four cancer, only 59. I can't sleep. You guys never fail to make me laugh. Just kick back and ignore the bad shit. If only Aww. for a while. Thank you. Metalhead D, man. I'm I feel sorry, for man. you. My dad uh, went down that same road. I don't know if it's the exact same type of cancer. You didn't specify what type she had, but uh, he had stage four and you, uh, we went through what, three, I guess three years of him fighting it. Yeah. About three years of him fighting it and radiation and chemotherapy and all that stuff. And uh, that's a tough road, that's man. Rough. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. I hope all ends up okay with that because uh, I, uh, I know firsthand that's a, that's a tough road, man. So hopefully things are better and hopefully we can make you laugh a little. Um, ba, 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 the best comedian Robin Williams was funny back in the day Robin you know it's so funny all that, the like, good ones are gone it's so weird that like some of the guys that you would never think in a million years kill themselves do like, that's I w- because you can't tell when someone is depressed well, I, I, oh god get, do I, should I get a fucking violin out no like, I'm just party? saying should I get it's one? a silent I know, killer but you're like the, the most like I'm just saying I feel like I, I feel like I should get out a fucking little it's, I'm just saying it, that's proof. It's the world's smallest violin. No, here's the thing. I Most know. of the time, no one's ever like, oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> like, you don't usually know. No. People hide it, you know? I will say, I will say, Robin Williams probably shocked me more than anybody. Because he was such a happy guy. You know what I mean? He was always like. Oh, well, yeah. Um, yeah. I tell you another one that I never would have guessed would um, not that he was like super happy like Robin Williams, but uh, what's his face? Uh, the traveling food guy. Uh, the traveling food guy. Oh God, what's his name? Anthony Bourdain. Who's that? You don't know who Anthony Bourdain. We got to stop talking. I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> who is that? Anthony Bourdain. He did the show. <clears throat> He's oh God. Oh, he, he's the one that he's friends with. Um, he was friends somebody. with. Jo- he was friends with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan That's got, right. got him in jujitsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he remember did, you I forgot what the show him. it was. I didn't did. know who he was. Before. He just got real popular on like because he had that show. It's uh, oh god, what was the name of it? He was all over everything for a while. Like yeah. every time you turned on Netflix or anything, you would see him on there. And uh, he just seemed like a super like squared away dude. Like he didn't. He wasn't overly happy like Robin Williams, but I mean, he didn't seem. And then he was into jujitsu. He got big into that. And like that kind of, he seemed to be really motivated by that. And then just, it's like, man, crazy, crazy. He'd (laughs) say, Chris Farley was another funny one that died. Yeah. He didn't commit suicide though. He died of a drug overdose, right? Yeah. Cocaine. Same thing it got John. Cocaine. Same thing it got John Candy. Probably mixed with something else though. But it was the same thing it got John Candy, no? Well, I think the fact that they were morbidly obese on top of doing like stupid amounts. Doing guardrails of, of yayo. Cocaine. Doing guardrails of the yayo. <laughs> I'm sure their heart was like, and we're done. Uh, your heart was like, and fuck. And you. we quit. Um, to answer Nicole's question, we are both drinking Sentimental Gentlemen tonight. He was making one and I just <laughs> decided to go with that route. David Stewart said, Oh, he was into heroin. He said, time to get out and watch some damn TV. Come on, girl. <laughs> Every time I bring something up that's like fairly iconic, you're like, I never saw that. I never saw that. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how have you never seen any of this shit? Oh, man. All right. Let's do a little lie. Uh... Light up. I wanted to get it puffing a little bit. This cigar, and I don't know if it's because of the size of it, the 60 ring gauger. I have found that uh, sometimes the 60s, they take a little more a little more revin to get them going. I don't know. It just seems like they... they What's this? A little, a little more. Huh? It takes a little while to get them. <laughs> we both said... <laughs> um, this cigar is, it, to me, if I had to sum it up without going into flavors, it kind of reminds me if like... A Davidoff and like a Nicaraguan, like stronger because I know Dav- I know some <laughs> Davidoffs are Nicaraguan, but like the smoothness and like roundness of a Davidoff had a baby with like an ass kicking Nicaraguan, right? Because it's got some boldness and stuff of the Nicaraguan tobacco, but it's got this really smooth, round chillness of like. So it's like a- me and you. Well, so it's like our our kids. 
Our kids are crazy. Charlotte is fucking buck wild. I'm, not, to- I'm just saying, you're like a bold and aggressive, yeah. and I'm round. <laughs> <laughs> at, booty, at booty round. At, be, at and dump calm. truck round. And calm. Mm. But if I were to hit some notes, there is a slight, <laughs> like, mineral kind of situation that goes on in this one. Um, it's It goes back to that slightly basement. I don't know if there's some aged tobacco in here. I think there is. It goes back to that basement thing that I've said before. It's like a minerally basement floor kind of like musty mineral kind of thing going on. Um, there's definitely some earthiness. The smoke almost kind of makes your mouth water a little bit. What else did I say in here? Uh, hint of leather. Yep. Just a touch. It's not real strong, but there is a little bit of hint. The smoke is very powdery. It's a very light, fluffy, powdery kind of smoke. Uh, toasty, peppery, and maybe just a, just, a, just a fucking, just a touch of a nuttiness in there. Just a touch. But I will say it is a very powdery smoke. It does have a slight mustiness to it. There kind of reminds me of almost like a, I say minerally, but it's like a minerally basement-y, musty kind of thing going on. Um, I'm not getting, there's a little bit of pepper. Let me get a retro on that. Retro is pretty mild. A little bit of spicy in the retro. A little bit more of the pepper comes out in the retro. But overall, I'd say like a medium. It's not like for, for being a Nicaraguan puro or puro, um, it's not like a medium full or a full. I'd call this one like a medium. Kind of the flavor of maybe a medium full, but like more the, the body of like a medium, like a standard medium, if that makes any sense. With like a, a pretty decent finish on it though. Like the finish is it's got a pretty long lasting finish on it though. It's nice. It's a betty 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 nice. Betty betty nice. Crispy donuts in the house. Crispy donut in the hizzy. What's up, brother? What's up? Uh let's see. Flint says evening, everyone. Evening, buddy. Chris says dusty barn. Yeah, almost kind of a dusty barn. Specifically <laughs> though, this one reminds me a little bit more of a of a basement than a barn. Like some, it's like dustier. So no animals. Right. This one, Dusty Barn, isn't as musty as this is, which is why I go to basement. And like I said, that's my own weird way my brain thinks. Um, barnyard is kind of dry. Barnyard's kind of a, a drier, is drier, dusty. Moist. <laughs> moist. Ugh. Ugh. The word moist. <laughs> why does that word gross people out so bad? The word moist and the word seepage. Seep, the word seepage grosses me straight out. Something about that word. Seepage. 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 Blech. Hmm. Blech. That was like, I remember when they <clears throat> had those, uh, that medicine that came out for people to lose weight. And, <clears throat> and uh, they also, I think, were. <laughs> Which one? It was the one that made it to where your body couldn't absorb uh, oil or couldn't absorb, oh. it couldn't absorb fat. Dude, it was called Alley or Ally or something, something like that. Something like that. And it made it to where your body didn't absorb fat. So you just passed it. And it's like. In the, and I remember in the ad, it was like, yeah, may have anal seepage <laughs> or gas with oily discharge. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I don't care how overweight I am. That, yeah, those two just side, kind those, of like happen. Those two side effects right there are worse than being overweight. By far, just, I'd rather yeah. be fat. Yeah. I would much rather be fat than have you anal. You have to wear some like panty liners in your I, crack. I would much rather be fat than have anal seepage and gas with oily discharge. That sounds horrible. <laughs> that sounds fucking horrible. I mean, get the fuck out of here. That that's got to be worse, right? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't uh I wouldn't want that. <laughs> Dave seriously, watching Father Tom come up with his flavors is the best. I realize some of my flavors are a little out there. I get that. I've actually caught some flack from people sometimes. Your notes? Some of my notes get a little out there, but it's it's whatever my brain is experiencing that 
I make the connection with. And to me, it makes perfect sense. I know I don't give always give the standard notes that people give. I throw like old books and dusty basements and shit that people are like, what the fuck? But I mean, that's, that's, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it says no fun when you're scared <laughs> to slip a fart. That's the truth. It, I guarantee you, you cannot trust a fart when you're taking that stuff. I made it just in time for oily discharge. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Hey, you never know. What huh? is going to be said yeah. on this live? Right? Go to the gym, damn it. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like, just go to the gym. Just eat a little less. Go to the gym. You know what I mean? That's got to be, even though I know that can be difficult to do, I mean, shit, nobody could say it better than me. I've been horrible about doing the, keeping up with my fitness. Uh, I've said that I was going to get back on a regimen for the last year and failed horribly. Um, but uh, it's got to be better than oily discharge. And, and I mean, I uh, think you do all right. And anal seepage. Eesh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lay's Wild Chips had an animal leak, anal leakage warning. Yeah, I remember that. What when, did Lay's? Yeah, can they had the Olestra, I think it was called, oh. when, they were, when they were frying them in Olestra. I think it was they were frying them in a different kind of oil. It was called like Olestra or something. And they did. They came with a warning that like, if you eat a, if you eat too many of these, you might shit yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh, have man. one or two. You should be okay. But if you eat a bunch, you're going to probably fart and just make an absolute <laughs> murder scene in your drawers. Oh, man. Uh, uh, let's see. Bye from the Bay. Well, I just had to clean up a trail of shit. <laughs> My two year decided to go out. Time, time, to, t- time for a double. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I remember those days. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. The days of kids doing weird shit like that. Yep, yep, yep. Or when they have the blowouts and it went up the back. And you're like, oh, God damn. Mm-hmm. This is like a full-on shower bath situation. There's no cleaning this up with wipes. Yeah. <laughs> like, you need a water source. In the bathtub yeah. was always really <laughs> yeah. fun, too. Yeah. Like, when they poop in the bathtub. Oh, yeah, and then you got to You're drink. already bathing them, yeah. and then they poop in the bathtub. And, and then you have to take them out of the bath, clean the entire bathtub, and then put them back in it. the bath. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a fun time. Mm-hmm. That's a fun time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm doing pretty good. I haven't let this go. You out are yet. doing pretty good. It's because I'm trying to stay on it. So guys, if I'm <laughs> a little less talky than normal, and I don't get to as many comments, it's because I'm ha- I'm trying to keep this cigar going. Because my original smoke time on this, when I was just up here by myself, not doing a live stream and talking, was an hour and forty five minutes. So uh, if it goes slower, because of talking and relighting and stuff, we could be here till fucking one in the morning. Oh, did. We have another garage episode left, right? We do have do one more garage. garage. Yeah, because yeah, we got the. Um, n- I think we still have a couple things. I don't. Left we haven't showed. We haven't showed the new treadmill. We got one of the. Um, what are they called? It's the the non. There's no electric. The uh, assault. Assault. It's assault runner is what it's called. Assault runner. It's yeah. uh. There's like no electricity. It runs just on you running. I forgot what they're called. Um, it's a non motorized. Right. Uh, supposed to be better like it supposed to more accurately what's the word i'm looking for (laughs) more accurately it's more um like realistic it's supposed to be more like running than a a treadmill that that moving under and it's just supposed to be better for your running and stuff like that it's like better on your joints and yeah it's got the curve in it so it's supposed to be a little lower impact and stuff like that but um we got that. I wanted to get completely done out there before I did the final like walkthrough. So there's still, um, I want to get the dumbbell set that we haven't finished yet and get a few more kettlebells and get a few things really polished up. And then we'll do one last uh, edition of that once the whole gym is set. We got to get mirrors put on the one wall. So there's, there's a few, uh, I have ADD. Jeremy likes to move on to I have, other things before. I have, well, no, it's just when I know I'm at a spot where like, this is going to take me a little while to finish. I'm like, I might as well go start another one while I'm waiting. Cause I know it's going to be a couple months, maybe three to six months before I can finish this part. 
So in the meantime, I might as well go start four other projects. Like that, that's, so that's why we started the truck EDC. I did the initial one of those. And then I was waiting on a bunch of parts. So we could do uh, part two of that. And then now I'm starting the office remodel, gun wall build and all that. So yeah, I've got like three projects. In, oh, and I did the whiskey room rebuild. So that's four. So, but this yeah, one's done. It's a lot. So I did finish this one completely. There's been a lot of, uh, a lot of things. Mm-hmm. A lot of mm -hmm. things going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, your hat. Can you Tom, talk about your hat? Tom, that's Tom. Yeah, but a couple people have asked about it. No, you cannot get this hat. Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, this was a um, this was a, a demo or a, a prototype. Uh, a company I talked about it a little bit last week. Uh, I normally do all my apparel through Bunker, and I still will do all my apparel through Bunker. I love those guys. But the guys at Exclusive uh, started doing custom hats where uh, they make them from scratch. Like with Bunker, they can they use the Richardson, I think it's 112. These aren't Richardsons. Richardson, I can't remember the exact model. But they can put your logo and stuff. But Exclusive started, it got with a factory that can make them to your specifications. Uh, they put your logo in the hat. Did you notice that my logo is in the hat? No. I never, I've never yeah. seen the inside of it. Yeah. So it's like a fully custom hat. Um, and they're like, hey, do you? I'm like, yeah, I could, I, I, I'm not going to leave Bunker. I still have my stuff over there. But if you guys want to do a fully custom hat, I can, I can do something like that with you guys. Uh, so this was a prototype. Uh, and we have not gone full production on them yet. But when they are available, I will certainly let you guys know. Do you guys like this one? I was worried that because this is my signature logo, I feel like the... Uh, the skull stuff always sells pretty well, but sometimes when I do other logos, like my signature logo, or the leaf and barrel logo, it doesn't sell as well. Um, but I really like this hat, the all black. So we'll see. We'll see. Troy says, just ordered next week's stick. My man. So he went and clicked whoop, the link. Whoop. My man. Click that link. Click that link. Oh, I can't tell the people that. Don't. Oh. I, no. Don't click I the mean, link. I mean, maybe click the link if you want to. I don't want to push anybody in that direction. <laughs> Because <laughs> fucking YouTube, man. Good God. Ah, Dustin. He said, need the leaf and barrel viskies and merch. You know. Say what? We talked about that. Uh, I didn't do any leaf and barrel merch for a while because I felt bad without there being any leaf and barrel episodes selling leaf and barrel merch when I wasn't doing any of the episodes. But now that we're doing the lives, we probably need to get some leaf and barrel shit kicked up again. Yeah. Like put some, now we need put, to like kind of redesign, like do a new yeah, leaf do and barrel a, logo, a new logo, put it on some viskies and, and, st and stuff like such. So yes, we should do that. Faux show. Good idea, Justin. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, dude, my hairline has left the building, bro. It's uh, it just <laughs> keeps, it just keeps going back and back further and further. My man. Hang on. You've got like a, I got what? I got a fly, a fly by. The hairline just keeps going further and further back. I will say, I think it's kind of slowed down. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely, I got a five head for show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you do the, can you do like the skull logo in the all black like that? We couldn't get Did the, we, could, we couldn't get the skull or logo to too, work. Yeah. They they made it several times and because this is called uh, it's called puff yeah it's like puff because the the thread it's like very yeah it's like three yeah it's like three D it. it's yeah. like really puffed out and um, <laughs> hence the name hence the name there's too much detail in the beard logo and we tried to even like simplify the beard logo way down and it it just didn't there's too much detail in it that it didn't look right. So I think we're going to try to do maybe like a patch of some nature or something where we could get a little more detail and it doesn't mm -hmm. look like shit and, and maybe maybe do that. Yeah, we tr we tried to do the, the skull logo first and we just... Man, I mean, we, I like it like that. We went through three or four different versions and just did, did, not, did not look right. Um, but yeah, we could maybe do like a black on black patch, which isn't the puff um, with the skull logo. I think that would be slick. Slick, slick. Oh, I was going to show you guys this. Mm. What's funny, Black Multicam uh, was one of the uh, 
the colors that I was asking Andrew if they could get, and he said they could pretty much get any color. So I think we are going to do a black multicam version of one of the hats at some point. Yes, yes. Um, oh, I was going to show you these. These Check this shit out. Dude, how sick is that shit right there? Hardcore Hammers is the company. I got a bigger one over here. Um, I saw these guys at Blade Show, and I didn't get a chance to go talk to them, but I saw the booth, and I told myself, Jeremy, you need to get in touch with those guys when you get back. So I reached out to them. And because, you know, I'm doing the truck EDC build and I just put like a standard ax that I had that was like a Lowe's ax in there to have an ax in the bed of the truck for, you know, a thing. But then I saw these guys and I was like, oh, this is way fucking cooler. <laughs> these are all, it's a U.S. company. It's like a little kid on Christmas today uh, dude, when that like, thing it, came. It's a USA company, all you know, uh, made here in the U.S., U.S. materials, all that stuff. And dude. Come on. They have the OD green or the army green. I don't know if you would consider this OD or army. Either one, but it's like an army OD green it's army, it's me. with a flat black. And this is the, I think it's called the survivalist or something like that. Like, dude, how bad is that? It's got a hammer on the back and a hatchet. And, and look, look what's on the, uh, check this shit. Check this shit. Hold on. You can probably see it in this minute. See if I can show it here. Whoop, whoop, where's the, uh, can you guys see what mm -hmm. logo is on there? Can you see that? I actually, I see one of the guys in the, uh, don't tread on me. You should particularly like <laughs> this logo. I mean, that is a sick bitch right there. Sickness, sickness, sickness. Uh, Badass. I think this is called like the survivalist or something like that. It's like a small like hatchet. Feels great. And it has a uh, go back to this camera. I don't know if you can read that. Where's the focus? What it says on the handle. Parabellum. Oh, parabellum. If you guys don't know, parabellum, if I'm not mistaken, means prepare for war. Pretty badass. So that is like the little hatchet version. And I think, did you put links down below? For that? Yeah. Well, did they ever get back to you with a... With a discount code? No, I don't think... They, I think they're going to give me a discount code for you guys. So when we get that, I'll include it. Uh, for right now, you can... No, get, I didn't put a link to that because I didn't... For right now, you can just look. Hardcore Hammers is the name of the company if you're looking for a hatchet or an axe. Um, this is the full-size daddy. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> all blacked out. And that's why when I saw these, I was like, man, I got to get rid of that Lowe's ax in my fucking mm -hmm. truck. Got to get the fully blacked out. I forgot which model this is. I think this is the three and a half pound ax or something like that. But again, all us, it's got the, uh, good old don't tread on me. I mean, all blacked out. I mean, come on, dude, that <laughs> shit is ridiculous. Tell me that is not a badass ax. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. The thing is, they're really... Did you email him or text him uh, about that? Him. I emailed him. I mean, the balance on it is just so nice, dude. It just feels good. And I think this would be a good, like, multi-purpose situation for splitting wood, chopping shit. It's got a little bit of a mallet or a sledgehammer type situation on the back. I mean, got a nice leather sheath to go over the blade. I mean, they're just... Come on, dude. They're badass. All yeah. murdered out, solid, flat black. Come on, bro. Give me a fucking break, bruh. 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 See, I, I knew you'd like this one, my man. I knew it. <laughs> when I saw what your logo was for your, <laughs> your profile, I'm like, oh, dude, he's going to fucking love this because, I mean, it's kind of badass. It's kind of badass. I'm a, I might as well put a nipple on this motherfucker. I know. <laughs> Babe, how do you feel about the bespoke post boxes? <sighs> Moving on. <clears throat> Good for wife chopping. In, in, in lieu like of hell, uh, wanting to, let me just, I'll say this about them. At one point in time, I thought they were pretty cool. 
just for reference, his comment said, I feel like they were never different and didn't switch things up ever. They were like always the same. At one That's point, I when I first came out with them, I actually did a video on them because I thought it was a pretty cool idea and a couple of the boxes I got had some pretty cool shit in it. Well, then they kept wanting me to do more ads for them and I kept, I, they just weren't doing anything that I thought was cool anymore. Like I just wasn't into it. Like I was like, well, this is. Because we would have to pick a box that. Right. I would have that to. We want, that he wanted and he, nothing really. My big thing was I don't ever work with a company that I don't use their shit. I just don't. I don't believe in it. I don't care what the sponsorship offer is or whatever. If it's not something that I like and I truly enjoy and I use myself, I'm not going to do it. And it got to where I couldn't find a box that they had that I gave a shit about anything in it. And I was like, no. So I stopped working with them because I just kind of thought it was, eh. It just sort of naturally kind of faded off. Faded. And yeah. then the assholes continued to use my likeness in ads to this day when I haven't worked for, with them for two years. years. And they still have me in some of their ads that pop on Instagram. And I'm like, you motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> you motherfuckers. So no. So if you see those ads, so just know they're not recent. No. So if you see those ads, know that I only did like one or two ads of them like fucking three years ago. And they continue to recycle that footage. So... Let's just say that. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we reached out to him and told him to please stop, and they keep doing it. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't heard. Li I used to hear frequently, like, oh, I saw Jeremy on a thing, or I would even see him pop up, like, on Facebook and stuff. And I, I haven't seen them lately, so maybe they're. Right. Maybe they've stopped. So but. I have kind of a little bit of a sore spot with that <laughs> because I feel like they – used my likeness way longer than they should have when I really didn't support what they were doing anymore because I stopped really thinking it was any good, but they were still running my face. So that it made me seem like I was behind it when I wasn't, which kind of yeah. pissed me off. Yeah. So I kind of have a little bit of like a kind of, it kind of, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Let's just, yeah. let's just say it that yeah. way. Um, didn't, didn't think that that was a very genuine way they dealt with things. So I think I, the consensus, everyone is kind of, so kind of a green don't work with them anymore. And I even took that video off my YouTube. Like I made you it. Did. Yeah. Because it pissed me off. I was like, these, I don't look. Chris says, I see their ads with your reviews in it constantly. Yeah. And I, dude, that was from yep, like, I still see them on Insta. Yeah. I've seen them recently. Exactly. Yeah. And that's very disingenuous. And we've asked them not to, I, this was back before we really, I mean, we, it was in the very beginning. So we were, you know, new to all the, the contracts and the right and I, what I, what we would agree and, to and not I mean, you know we were just it, sure like whatever i didn't know, you know that i had to put a deadline in the contract to tell them you could only run this for x amount of time and uh they've taken advantage of that and they still run that yeah. shit so i do not support them anymore and i am also now very careful whenever i do <laughs> any ads and people ask to use the footage i'm like sure that's a separate thing that's a separate thing and there are deadlines around how long you can use it how many times you can use it and so forth and so on yeah um i'm very very careful about that they got that shit for free well not just that but it's just it's not even the price and the fact they didn't really pay me what they should well, have no, for it's that they it was that, yeah. that i don't support it anymore and they still run it so for people that follow me they're like oh look jeremy's on this and yeah. i don't and so it's it's disingenuous yeah for and sure it pisses me off for sure all um, over tiktok jace jace so man so maybe we need to like reach so, out to them again and, and tell, tell them, them to, to stop. cut that shit out I, I, rockwell's told him before he told me he reached out to him and didn't get anywhere hmm that's fucked up hmm adventure smurf said we need to send him a cease and desist that's actually a good idea yeah send him like an official cease and desist so that way if they don't stop we can sue him not, I don't like getting involved in all that well, shit. I think even, I mean, all it was, I think, was like, hey, do you mind if we use a clip in, a, in an ad or something? I mean, it was, you know, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, sure, okay. Yep. Like, thought it was like a one-off a one -off thing and, yep. you know. Can you see to watch? Yeah, you can see to watch. Whoop, whoop, doo, 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 doo. Wait, where's the angle of the dangle? My hairy-ass gorilla arm. It is the Oris Diva, I think it's Diver 65, 
That see that fat double dome sapphire crystal situation? Big old bubble dome. It's a nice. It's a nice. Uh, it's one of my favorite watches, man. I, I really do dig the Oris. I think they give you a lot of bang for your buck. They're really nice watches without a crazy, crazy high price point. Uh, what's the price on those axes? Colin says there, it depends on the axe. Pull up uh, on your 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 situation. Hard, hardcore hammers. The uh, the the full size axes. I mean, they're they're higher end axes because they're all American made. You know. Uh, type situations. They're not just like factory made, punching them out kind of situations. Axes. Uh, yeah. Do the, the, what's the, it's the, what's that? This one is right the there? murdered out one. The Ranger Axe. Uh, two, 229. 229. The Ranger Axe. This big, for big the dog. 20, that's for the 28 inch. There's also a 36 inch, which is probably what that is. Uh -huh. And that one, well, they both pull up. It's the same price. I think it's the same price. Okay. I think you can just get a different length handle. I don't oh, think. Oh yeah, that it's, it's the same. It's the yeah, same. Yeah. So this is the Ranger Axe and uh, two twenty nine. They do have other colors of that. They too. do have other colors, and there's cheaper models. But um, like I said, you're getting like a custom, American made, American materials type situation. But I mean, this thing is. And where? What's the other one? You have? The other one is. Uh, I think it's called the Survivalist. This is the hatchet. Oh, it's a hatchet. It's a hatchet. You have to go under hatchets. 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 Survivalist hatchet. Survivalist hatchet. Yep. That's not the blacked out one though. Well, there's a murder. The blackout is um is sold out, I think. The blackout sold out. This was oh, a no. You ha you have to click F FNC. Whatever that is. One seventy nine. Head finish FNC and then blackout. One seventy nine. One seventy nine for the hatchet. Hashit. Some of the other colors are a little cheaper. They're like 150 Yeah, some of the other colors are cheap. This was a limited run they did with the yeah. Parabellum and the... Um, well, that one's the, the... It's called Envy Green. Envy Green. This one specific... Oh, no, that's not it. No, I think this one he told me was a limited run they oh. did. So I don't know if you can get this exact one. Yeah, I don't see that one. Um, with the Parabellum on the handle and the Army Green or the, the OD Green. But... Um, Feels good, man. The balance. Feel the oh, balance. Oh, here it is. Did you find one? Parabellum, Parabellum tactical, tactical hatch. Tactical okay, they do have hatchet, it. OD green. OD green. One seventy. One seventy nine. You can also get that blacked out or in sniper gray. Jays. Super cool. They're though, actually man. on sale. Are they on sale? Even better. It says regular two twenty nine. Oh, on sale one seventy nine. Get them while it's hot. Get them while it's hot. <laughs> And maybe we'll have a code for you, too, at some point. Yeah, hopefully. I, I think... Uh, if you want to, like, wait, like, a day, if you're wanting to do it, wait a day and check back in the comments, because yeah. I'll, I'll put it... Not in the comments, but the description. I'll put it in there. Mm-hmm. I've been... I'm way behind on comments. <laughs> Kevin says, shave that arm with that sweet axe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Where do you get your watches? Uh, mostly from like local retailers. Uh, I have gotten a couple online. I got one, some, some of the less expensive, lesser expensive watches from like Joma shop and stuff. But generally when I get higher end watches that are in the thousands, I prefer to get them from an authorized dealer just because then you're a hundred percent sure. And I know a lot of these online gray what is it called? Gray market retailers have guarantees of authenticity and all that stuff. But I always just feel better going to like a place when you're spending thousands yeah. of dollars on something. Um, Mayors is one of the stores locally that I go to a lot. That they're I think uh, that's primarily because the the people that do like there can be some really good fakes. Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. are even sometimes hard. I think for mm -hmm. the people that. What do, you, what do you call them? They verify them or they... Yeah, uh, like the authenticators or authenticator, whatever. Authenticator, yeah. Um, so, like, usually if I'm spending over $1,500 or so on a watch, I'll just go to, like, an authorized yeah. dealer and get it. Mayors has uh, a lot of stuff. They, they're a Tudor, uh, Rolex, Speedy. Uh, not Speedy. Well, Speedy is the... the Speedy is my purse. Omega. A speedy. <laughs> That's what they call a speedmaster, a speedy. Oh, it's also a Louis Vuitton. Um, hey, funny, the, <laughs> the, the mayor store is right across the Louis or two doors down from the Louis Vuitton store. That how air, convenient. How convenient. One you, for you, you, one for me. Yeah, you want to spend all your money, <laughs> just go to that two, 100 feet of each other and you could spend all your fucking money. That's funny. <laughs> 
Ryan says, puff that cigar. I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a minute. Okay. Josh said, how do you find time for both of you to do these videos with kids? Our youngest is 10. Yeah. So, so it's, and our oldest, he's almost 18. So they, and also they chill down there. Also, if it's not a, a school year time, a lot of times uh, they'll be over at Meemaw's house. Yeah. My mom. Well, yeah. During They're, school, I, we do all their nighttime stuff and they go to bed while we're up here. They know the drill. Well, not not the oldest one, obviously, but uh, summertime, yeah, they're just they're chilling. Huh. He says, "I see they got tire thumpers." Also, yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's a cool place. They they're cool people, and and it's like I said, it's a, a American company, American made, all that stuff. Uh, hardcore hammers. They have a lot of cool products, so definitely, definitely give those guys. What the fuck are these? Goddamn dogs. <laughs> Fucking. The two little dogs hang out right here outside the door. And uh, shenanigans. Bitch, it's Mercer. I thought you were going to wear it. Yeah. I need to because I can read That's better. why I said, do you want me to read your comments for but you tonight? Here, here's the problem. <laughs> when, when you're recording video with glasses, you have to set the light up and you have to angle yourself in a certain way so you're not catching all kinds of mad reflections in the glasses. Uh, cause there's a big bright ass light like right here. Um, and I'm looking right into it. So glasses are kind of problematic, but I, I can't see as good. So it's either all kinds of glare and shit or hooked on phonics. And usually I just decide to go with hooked on phonics because I mean, if nothing else, it makes it funny because I'm over here. Do, 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 do. Uh, Jeremy did the tatted. What is it? Jeremy did the tatted sleeve and got to shave. Did my, the tatted sleeve and got to shave my arm once a week. Full blown regimen for that shit. Man <laughs> card on my arm. Yeah. Oh, dude. you got a man card on your arm? Well, I don't. Did he? Did he actually get a man card on his arm? Or is he just saying he's got a full blown regimen of shaving his arm because of the? Uh, I used to. Trim, oh, he's like he got his man card because of his arm. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I used to trim the hair on my arms back. I didn't shave it. I would just hit it with the buzzers when I was trimming up all my other ear hair and fucking the hair on my neck, like the hair on the back of my head and my beard, it connects like this is all fucking hair. <laughs> so if I don't shave right here, there's, there's no difference between my head and my beard. I'm like a fucking Wookiee. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so while I'm doing all that, I used to buzz my arms down, um, God to keep the hair a little bit short so you can actually see the tattoos. <laughs> but uh, I haven't done it lately, as you can tell. Super chat, Jeremy Owens. You turned me on to Ola Oliva Melanio cigar is now my go-to's. <laughs> have you tried K. Luke bourbon? Hmm. No, I don't think I have. What, what are you laughing about? Mm -hmm. Was it the dogs or me? Is it my reading or the dog? <laughs> You're reading. I have to like, I have to like do this. <laughs> you're, like, you're doing like this it's, it's, and you're speaking like two words at a time. It's so from, none of it makes sense. It's from sense. MS. I think you would enjoy. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, is it Mississippi? MS is Mississippi, right? Yeah. MS is Mississippi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. K. Luke Bourbon. No, I don't think I've heard of that one. I don't think I've heard of that one. I'll check it out though. If I see it, I'll give her a go. Thanks, Jeremy. And good name, by the way. It's a good name. <laughs> Solid name you got there, son. Solid name. Uh, what else we got? Currently smoking. Uh, oh, currently smoking Esteban Carrera. <laughs> <laughs> Carrera. Carrera's. Chupacabra, Chupacabra Hellcat. Thoughts, Jeremy? I've never had that. <laughs> he said, <laughs> <laughs> I had Esteban. I was like, Esteban. <laughs> and then I had Chupacabra, strangely enough, but the middle one fucked me up. <laughs> what was that thing that Biden, that Biden said? Oh, yeah. He, he said, called somebody. Booty juice? Booty juice. He That's called somebody booty, booty juice. He, he's like, booty juice. Yeah, it's a booty juice. <laughs> 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 Fucking guy. Uh, oh, man. Let's see. It does hide how drunk I am. That's true. It does true. Uh, <laughs> I 
That's why Jeremy squints so hard. He needs some million dollar man contacts. Stat. <laughs> yeah, I do need some. I got astigmatism, which is the problem. Like the contacts. Contacts give him hell. They, they, they don't always in my, it's my, my right eye. They can't ever get one that works perfect. So it's like, they can't quite get me to 2020. And then as I've gotten older, the problem has gotten to where the close up vision's an issue. So even when my contacts are in and from like here, I can see reasonably well from here, it, it gets weird because your close up vision goes to shit when you get older. So it's, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole fucking problem. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I have to address. So Christopher that sent you that super chat, he said he, he did the man card into a full sleeve on his arm. Oh, that's awesome. That's what he did. He said he sent you the picture on Instagram. We don't ever see the Instagram stuff because Dan. Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, no, I did do remember. Did you see it on Instagram? Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, send you the email. because he, he did Instagram. the skull logo and all that Instagram's on his arm. Instagram's a black yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, a, it was a version of the skull logo. Like, he didn't, yeah. he kind of you know, made it his own kind of thing. And it cool. looked dope. That's it looked, awesome. It looked real good. Looked looked real good. I know who you are now. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, normally Instagram shit gets lost in the fold, man. Um, it's bad. <laughs> he said that Kentucky reading is killing me, Smalls. I'm telling See, I can you, read that so fine. Bad. If it's like a short sentence, I can kind of make it out. But if it gets to be long, I, I start like, you know, fucking up. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, uh. some people were asking about the T-shirts. I'm working on it, you guys, like the bigger sizes. I reached out to my, like, our rep or contact at Bunker, and he had to reach out to their rep um, to see because they were in short supply, some of the bigger sizes, but he was going to get back to me once they got back to him. So you know how that goes. That was, like, the end of last week. So it's in the works. I'll follow up with him soon. Cool. She's yeah. on it. I'm on it. Big Al's on it, y'all. Big Al's on it. It'll get handled, I am sure. Jeremy, Tactical, cool, tactical Kitchen. Jeremy, curious what you think about my daily go-to, the Gurkha Park. Uh, I'm about to say adventure. It's Avenue. <laughs> what? I, I had a stroke. I actually could read that one, <laughs> no and that shit. was that was my stumbling of my words. The Gurkha Park Avenue. Um, I don't have a thought on it because you know we talked. I talked about it last week. I strangely, and it's something that I need to address. Have not smoked many Gurkhas in 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 my in my uh, my cigar journey it's not a brand that i've dove into and i keep saying that i'm going to go out and i'm going to buy a handful of them and try them because it seems to be something you guys are into i hear a lot about them on these live streams and i am like horribly ignorant on the whole lineup of gurkhas i think i might have had one or two of those at some point in my life but have no recollection and have never really paid attention or smoked them so i need to get involved in that because uh, I feel like it's something you guys smoke a lot of, and I get asked about it a lot, and I'm always like, bro, no, no. no. Um, what else we got in here? What else we got in here? Are you at like a halfway cigar? I am thing? close to halfway. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna hit up on that here in just a thick end. Uh, I feel like I'm way behind on comments. Holy shit! Yeah. Okay. Um, bu 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 Tom already bailed. He has to get up early, you know. It's what past a, his bedtime already. What a bitch. He goes to bed at night. What nine. a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. All I hear is, wah, wah, wah. I'm a little bitch. No, He's I'm, probably already gone. He doesn't even need I know. Him. I'm giving him a hard time. He's a friend of mine. I wouldn't give anybody else that much shit. <laughs> Beaver Punch said, "Love the shirt." He oh, got a, he no. got a nod shirt. You got a nod shirt, Beaver. Nice man. I'm glad you like it. What color did you get? Did you get the black with the the uh, OD font, or did you get the uh, the Ranger green with the black? I'm curious. I think the black is my favorite. Uh, I do I do like the Ranger green one a lot too, but I do think. The black one with the... <laughs> biatch? <laughs> What's biatch? Um, biatch. Biatch. That's what I'm saying, dude. Bailing out at 920. Come on. <laughs> Street lights are on. My alma fuerte. Alma fuerte. 
is burning a little quicker. I think the box press is smaller. It is. Yeah, these big old six toes are 60 ring gaugers. And uh, I don't know if the box is also a six because this is a six by six by 60. Um, this is a six by 60. So, I mean, it, it's, it's a, a hog of a cigar. Uh, and I think maybe because it's pressed, the box press, it burns a little slower. It compresses the tobacco a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'm making pretty decent progress. I make it, but it's going to slow up though. Uh, I feel like sometimes the cigars, they, they seem to burn quicker and then they get to like a spot and you think you're really moving. And then it just kind of, you keep smoking and keep smoking and it feels like it's in the same spot. You're like, fuck. Kind of like when you're at work and you mm -hmm. have like an hour left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it actually takes like four hours. Little update though. Boop. What? What's our update? Oh. Burn is. Burn is fantastic. Fantastic. It's so good. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe <laughs> shit. <laughs> but in this case, it's good. It uh it's burning great. Can't complain about the burn on this thing. Notes are really, I haven't hit a huge change in the, look at that. That's a pretty ass cigar. They really did a good job on this cigar. Um, notes are, seeing what I have in my notes as far as what I said. Bows, earthy, musty, mineral, slightly peppery, toast, leather, powdery. Yeah, I would agree with all that. It, it really is about the same. I'm still getting... And like I said, it's very, to me, it's like the flavors of a Nicaraguan, but if you kind of rounded it off and smoothed it out, because it's a very smooth, balanced, chill smoke. Even though there's more flavor there and it kind of has that Nicaraguan boldness, it's like rounded and smoothed. It's nice. It's like it, my ass. It's, it's yes. Um, still getting that earthy, musty basement kind of thing. <laughs> the steady road in the house. Steady road. Uh, What's up? Black pepper, leather, powdery smoke. There is a nice little sweetness in there. At some point, some chocolate and coffee kind of things come in. I'm not getting it yet, but I remember, yeah, I remember somewhere here toward the, 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 the back end of the second third or the first part of the last third, some coffee and chocolate notes come in. I'm not getting a ton of that yet. Uh, it's still just like, there's a little bit of like a cedary kind of flavor in there. You get in a lot of cigars, but it's like a musty basement, cedar, powdery smoke, nice little underlying sweetness. Um, there is like a minerally basement-y kind of thing that reminds me of, I don't know what it is, why, why I think it's basement. There's something, because I haven't even been in, around basements in a long time, because in Florida we don't have basements. As a kid... Basements I, have a smell, though. They do. They have a particular smell. And the, and it's not like a barnyard. No. But <laughs> it reminds me of how this tastes. Like the, It's kind of like it's the old... damp. It's kind of like the old book thing that I said. It's not like I know how an old book tastes. I've never licked an old book. It's like wet paper. Well, this isn't like wet paper. But you know what I'm saying about wet paper? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the same as a basement. There is a slight like toasty roasty thing going on. I'd almost say it's like a toasty roasty nuttiness, but it's a very mild nuttiness. I would almost say it's almost like a mm, toasty malty kind of flavor. Toasty malty or nutty. So like someone's roasting nuts in their basement? If you were roasting nuts in a basement <laughs> while drinking a malt. <laughs> out of a leather cup. <laughs> that you put a little pepper on. <laughs> pepper on the rim? Little pepper rimmed leather <laughs> cup with a malt in it in a musty basement. <laughs> with nuts on the stove. With, with, with a toasty, nutty finish. You're roasting. Roasty. Roasting chestnuts on an open fire. Roasting chestnuts <laughs> on an open fire. David Stewart said, 
Jeremy's notes. Dusty, musty, basement mildew, straw, wood, buttery nipple taste. <laughs> Uh, hey, you know, it's weird. It's weird. I got some weird notes, but it is, it's what I taste. What can I say? What um, can- Cigar Bible, guys. It'll be back. Um, it was back in stock, and then y'all sold it out, like, real fast. But there's more on the way. I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but there, it should be soon. Very soon, right? Soon. They have to... They're on air and route. Yeah, they're in route. Yeah, they have I mean, to be QC'd and then yeah, they're uh, in route. So I mean, they'll be up. So hopefully, any, like I would say, like this month, probably right. So, I would, I would hope so. The twenty first. Yeah, fuck, I would hope sometime this month. They were already on the way when we got the last batch in, but y'all sold them out real fast. So they're they're coming. What else? There was another question I saw that I was yeah, going to answer. Definitely like a multi basement leather multi basement leather cedar pepper yeah nicole whiskey is definitely a good idea when you get home you got hit by a bus for well as long as they didn't give you any painkillers yeah if you're not on painkillers <laughs> that could don't possibly do that. have an adverse unless effect. you just want to go straight to sleep but don't don't listen to her what i'm you, what Yes. Unless you, you want to go straight to sleep. Don't tell that girl to mix whiskey and painkillers. No, I'm She'll just She'll go saying, home and OD and it'll be your fault. I didn't mean to do it. I just meant like that's not a good idea. You don't want to go straight to sleep. You want to like, you want to chill. You want to hang. But yes, Motrin Tylenol, ice, whiskey. There you go. Jeremy, do you buy your cigars? Yes, I do. I do. I do get sent some cigars to for samples to try and stuff if i'm doing a review or if i'm doing a whatever but most of the cigars i buy myself uh even these cigars uh that uh provada sends me um they come out of my rolling tab that i have with them because i do other stuff with them like i sell cigars through them i have my signature cigars and stuff at the end of the month whatever my cigar tab is minus whatever i made through selling my cigars they take the cigars that I ordered out, and then so yes, I do pay for them. I do not get them for free. Some of them I do, but most of the time, no, I pay for them. Uh, so someone was asking about mm. the picks for next month, and hopefully, we'll have them by what? Leather nuts roasting while clapping cheeks in a basement. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Beaver. Clapping them cheeks. Come Beaver on. punch coming through. We're coming through with the cheek clapping. <laughs> a little clapping. Um, yeah, I, I try. I have this. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll I'll roll it right now if I can find it. Where is it? Boom. Um, this is just the next. Um, you know, like right now we're on the. Alma Fuerte Fuente Sixto and then next week is the Crown Heads Le Carim so I don't have the full Monty of next month ready yet but at least you can go ahead and put in an order for the Le Carim and you should definitely get it I would assume in time for um, next week's live stream if you want to order ahead of time I will try to um get next week or next month's planned out sometime by early next week. So that way I can get the list out to you guys. And that way you've got about a week and a half before the first one. And then you'll have, you know, but like I said, uh, if you click the link below uh, the video or the live, I keep a running list on the website of as far out as I currently know. And as soon as I know more, I'll add to that and keep it, it, it going in advance. So, you know, what is what as far in advance as possible so you can order them and smoke them along with your lives smoke them smoke them uh my signature cigars are at the same spot jc uh if you click down below you'll see it it's under um along with all the um if you, i can't link you straight to cigar. there's a bunch of letters <laughs> well i can't link you straight to cigar stuff from here because it's against youtube regulations but if you i have a supporting post on my website so if you click down below it'll take you to my website and then that will take you to where all the listings of the cigars are smoking lives and also my signature cigars are in that same list so you can find them all there find them all there 
Isaiah, what's up? Thank you for Super Chat. Weller 107 and Padrone 40th Anniversary Series. Glad I finally caught one live. Love the content. Well, thank you, brother. That is an expensive combo you got, man. A little Weller 107 mm-hmm. and Padrone 40. That's that's a very, very... That Weller is so good. That is a very nice little combination you got going there, man. Hope you enjoy. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Uh, put black market on the list. Uh, yeah, maybe I will do a black market. A little, little AB black market. That's always a good one. Uh, I'm trying to get the list for all of next month done here very soon. So hopefully I'll have that out there ASAP for you guys. But yes, a black market. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I went into my. I yes. Was like, yes. Like yes, the black market is very good. <laughs> Did you just go like uh I went um uh, what's that? Elmer Fudd or no, something? No, what was the guy that I was what's the guy that I can't think of what the, the <laughs> Yes. Uh, it's uh it's uh Ladies Man. Uh, who's that? Ladies Man. Do you don't know who Ladies Man God god damn. Who is that? That's a show? It's a character. On what show? He, uh, it was on Saturday Night Live back years ago and they oh. actually made a movie from it. It's Ladies Man with the Cavathier. <laughs> Oh, I know what you're talking Cavathier. about. Cavathier? Ladies like it in the butt? No, no, no they don't. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been growing that beard? Forever. Dude, will you throw those dogs down the fucking what? steps? They'll come back. Throw, just kick them down the stairs. It's Lucy. Lucy is funky f- tonight. Frisky. Uh, I, man, I've been growing my beard. I cut it regularly, though. Like, I cut... He trims the little... I trim the bottom the all ends. the time. So, I mean, it's, it's this is as long as it's going to get because it starts getting real frizzy and split ends and nasty. So, I'm always cutting like a half inch to an inch off the bottom of it. Um, but, I mean, I, I've shit. I've been growing it seven, ten years, I guess, something like that. I've had a fairly long beard of some nature. So, for a, for a long time. Long time. Uh... Got a, um, there's a super saw, chat, and then saw, okay. David has a question. Oh, super chat. Heath, what's up, my man? What's in them pockets? You know, boring, man. Same Probably thing. Probably nothing, as, really. Same thing as the last two weeks. Same shit that's been in my pocket. I told you, when I get like a combo. You need to show him this belt, too. I've showed it. Oh, okay. Um, sometimes when I get a combo that I like, I'll ride it out forever. Uh, so the... Um, Savivi. Savivi. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I can't. I lost it. I had it. Chevalier. Had it. Got it. Savivi <laughs> Chevalier. Button lock. Smooth operator. Love it. It's a good, good deal. Micarta scales. And the uh, Microtech MagnaCut version of the Microtech in a dagger point. I think this is an ultra tech microtech ultra is this ultra tech yeah ultra tech i thought that's what it was uh this is the magna cut version that uh they did with blade hq very very recently very very nice um and i got my mighty hank in my back pocket like always always have a mighty hank on me and my wallet Open sea leather. Almost always the open sea leather wallet. And Oris watch. Hat. My, uh, what's this belt that I like so much? Um, core. Core. And it's actually on a uh, core belt. I love the core belts. They're I was very nice. I'm putting in the link for um, Amazon. The core belts are ratcheting gun belts dude they're fantastic if you're if you everyday carry and you have a little little piece you keep on you all the time i highly recommend the core gun belts they are linked i added the amazon storefront and to the description oh nice so some of that stuff like the savivi knife is listed in there and um I know for sure the core belt is too. The core belts are great, man. They were a game changer for me because it's a ratcheting system. So it, uh, and I've talked about it. And before. we have a code for Open Sea Leather, but, but it's on the website. I have my, uh, it's loosened up right now because I've been sitting. But that's the beautiful thing about it, right? And I keep my belt buckle over to the side because if you appendix carry, your clips are usually right here and Damn. the buckle gets in the way. So that's why my buckle 
if you don't appendix carry, your buckle would obviously be here. <laughs> but the beautiful thing about it is the ratcheting. So, let's see. can you hear it? Can you hear that ratcheting? No, that's not me farting. That's that's a ratcheting. And uh, there's a little release tab for it. So when you sit down, you hit this little button and it loosens up to where you can sit comfortably. And when you stand up, you just ratchet that bitch down and you're good to go. I love it. And it's a reinforced belt. It's nice and sturdy, so it holds the weight of uh, having a firearm. It doesn't sag or do anything weird. One of my favorite belts, dude. L love them very much. Love them very much. Talked about them numerous times. Numerous times. Tim Meadows. Um, David was asking. Tim Meadows, that's the guy. If Ladies you're man. planning on having anybody else on the, on the show. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who would you guys want to see? on here who should we ask i was thinking maybe like once a month do you think that would be a good uh maybe just depending uh sorry i'm reading through the comments core belts are the best yes custom knife from you you make custom knives nice man my man makes the custom knives i like a good custom knife Core belts are the best. Yes, Tyler, I agree. They are. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Chevy Chase does that on Christmas Vacation. What does he do on Christmas Vacation? That's one of my favorite movies, Christmas Vacation. But I can't. I wonder what he's talking about. So uh, there. Suggest so bourbon junkies. You had. You had. Didn't you have bourbon junkies on? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. I should have them they're on, on the again. Beginning. We should have them on again. There, and then Taylor, people suggested Taylor. Taylor, I've been trying to get on. He doesn't have a good place to smoke a cigar and come oh, on at the same time. Oh, that's right. So that's a little bit of a problem. The bourbon junkies, I'll definitely have Donald on. Donald Trump. <laughs> Bourbon junkies. <laughs> that would be epic. Bourbon junkies, I'll definitely have on again sometime soon. I talked about having Brian on again yeah. from Provada and him bringing his wife on, Ophelia. Oh, yeah. And then having you on and yeah. us doing like a, we could do all like a ladies' night out. where Bri fun. Brian comes on with his wife and then me and you She's are on great. Here. Yeah, Brian's wife, Ophelia, is super nice. She's great. She's a great. How Tom, about like we might have Tom on and then Tim from Cigars Daily. That oh, yeah, I do keep meaning to have Tim from Cigar Cigars Daily. I keep meaning to email him or text him and ask him about that uh how you like your eighth grade man i'm embarrassed to say i love I, i'm look from a standpoint of how it looks love it i have not been able to shoot it yet i haven't had time <laughs> i've been so fucking busy the last couple months i was playing catch up and then i was at blade show and then since blade show i've been playing catch up and i've been doing the room rebuild and i just haven't had time to go to the range and actually shoot it but i love it i can't be too um I can't give you too many data points because I haven't actually had been able to shoot it yet, uh, but I do love it. I'm sure once I shoot it, I'm going to love it even more because I've watched a bunch of reviews and I watched a guy do a 500 round burn down on it. And I, I know it's going to hold up to the hype. It's, it, I think it's going to be awesome, but I, I have not had a chance. I, dude, I have four guns that I have not been able to shoot. That's how busy I've been. Four new guns that have not been shot yet. Because I've been so damn busy. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's a sad state of affairs. Um, some people said Matt, Meat Church. He would be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should ask Matt. I bet you he would, he would do it. I bet you I mean, he, he would. I don't, does he smoke cigars? I don't know. But I, he's, I know he, he drinks whiskey. He would be whiskey. fun to have on I know either he, way. I know he drinks whiskey. I mean, you don't have to smoke the cigar. Like, you don't have to. <sighs> Yeah, I should, ask, I should ask Matt. That, that I bet be, he would do it. That I, would be a fun one. I bet you he would do it. We should write that down so we don't forget. I'll ask him. I'll and then somebody I'll, else I'll said. I'll text. I'll try to remember to text him and Tim. ADHD. This week. I'll try to remember to text both those guys this week. <laughs> when are we going to see you on JRE? That would be. That would be awesome. <laughs> one day. Maybe one day. I love Joe, man. We're, we're, you know, small. What do you call it? Small, small. Small fries? Small fish. Small, small fish. fish. Yeah, small fish next to Joe, for sure. Faux show. Um, somebody said something else I wanted to... Oh, lots of people are just are saying that I'm the only co-host that you ever need. So, thank, uh, thank you, guys. No, she's been great. I actually have enjoyed having her on. Um, and I'm glad you guys enjoy her being on here, because it does make it... It's easier for me to have, A, somebody to shoot the shit with and, and talk to, it's also like a mini date night for us in ways because we come yeah, over we here, we, dr we drink, we hang out. I get out. all duddied up. You know? Yeah, she gets all duddied up. Has <laughs> and, um, Been in sweats all day. <laughs> and um, 
it also helps me because she keeps me on track with the uh, comments and shit because it's hard to yeah there's a lot going on in a live stream to keep keep track of um, um peter some people said suggested peter pete pete will never do oh, it pete pete will never do it <laughs> pete he's never a busy do. man pete pete will never do it I, pete i love pete and me and him are friends and it's great but pete stays so fucking busy I, I think asking him to come on, I would almost feel bad asking him because he's such a nice guy. He would not, he would hate saying no to me, but I feel like I'd be putting him in a weird situation. He wouldn't want to do it because he stays so busy. The last thing he wants to do at eight o'clock at night is like set up a live stream and, and do more yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Pete would be great. But no I, one else I would, would help you read like me. I would feel bad asking Pete. Uh, but definitely Tim, I need to text Tim. I totally didn't even acknowledge my comment. What'd you say? I'm sorry. I was thinking. No one else would help you read. Oh, they would help me read. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't laugh at you though. Oh, they would laugh at me for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Laughing at me is a guarantee for everybody. Yeah. But no, I was thinking I'll, I'll try to remember to text Tom, uh, Tim and Matt from Meat Church. I'll try to remember to text both those guys this week. Where's your and pen? And I'll write it down on my Rex and Daniel, I should I should text Rex. That's ADHD. No, Rex and Daniel from Whiskey Vault, Whiskey oh, Tribe, Whiskey, Whiskey Tribe. Tribe. Yeah, I think they might they might be willing to do it. I'll have to text them and see. So who you say, Rex? I have to text Rex, Matt, Matt, and Tim. Tim. Jace. Jace. Free live stream. I'll try to reach okay. out to those guys and see. Um, Got it. Rex and Daniel. Noted. Rex and Daniel. Whoop. The only slight problem with those guys is I don't know how hip to coming back up to their place at eight o'clock at night they're going to be <laughs> because it's like at eight or if they can do oh, it from there. They have like a separate space. Yeah, yeah. Because they have like you know they shoot from like their their distillery. They do all their content there, not at their homes. So I don't know if they'll be real hip to like going back up there at eight o'clock at night to do a live stream or if they could just do it from their house or how that could work. But uh, I could definitely, I think I actually mentioned it to Rex at one point and he said he would be pumped to, to do it. If I'm not mistaken, I think I was talking to him about so something. People say I could stay on here even if you have a guest. Oh, absolutely. I don't have to get kicked out. No, I wasn't going to kick you out. Oh, I thought I would get kicked no, out. No, 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 no. Why would I kick you out? Because I might not have anything to... Uh, to add no i th you could still help me read <laughs> that's my job i'm like the yeah, closed and, caption person and, for and you. daniel does like cigars so i think he would enjoy the 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 schmuck and a pancake schmuck and a pancake i need to we need to we need to finish this up and get to our pour i know i'm ready this is like all watered down i do enjoy those though <laughs> you like, did you just like chug it? Yeah, it's chug. Because I mean, you were way behind me. That's, that's, there's, I mean. Uh, Big Al stays. You guys, thanks. I feel so special. Um. <laughs> Adventurous member said, I would leave it. I would leave if Big Al wasn't invited. Big Al would, of course, be invited. Big Al stays. O originally, it was going to be just me. <laughs> and then we thought, well, we'll have Big Al on. And then we have guests. We won't because it might be too many people. But I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine. And like I said, I think it's a better dynamic with me and you on there. Even if well, we have most of those people, like, I mean, if it was Taylor, like, I I don't know. Like, some of those people I feel like I could talk to. I mean, I'm sure I could talk to all of them. Yeah. It would be fine. It'd be fine. Look at Christina P. and, and Tom uh, Segura. I mean, not comparing us to them because they're obviously far more famous I and popular than we are. I love Christina P. so much. She, that, she gets in there. <laughs> she's so fucking funny. She gets in there. She doesn't give a shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. We're here for Big Al. 100%. Uh, Big Al. Thanks, you guys. So all you fuckers are team Big Al. Y'all are me. sweet. No, I appreciate the support for Big Al. What should we pour? <laughs> this is the Big Al show with Father, T Father Time as the co-host. Nah, he carries the show, man. If he wasn't here... <laughs> The, I'd be sitting here like, uh, the, so. Uh. The, the, the chocolate <laughs> and um, just to jump in real quick. Don't mean to interrupt no, the Big, no, the big Owl Love Fest. Um, <laughs> no. But the uh, the chocolatey 
kind of slightly coffee with cream, chocolate kind of notes are starting to, they're right about here. <laughs> Actually, probably a little bit before this, uh, if I've been paying attention, but they're, they're starting to, there's, there's a, there's a flavor shift happening where the, the mustiness is still there, but it's come down a little bit. There's still some sweetness. The cedar's still there, but there's a nice chocolatey kind of coffee flavor Plantness. starting to, starting to creep in there. I do not have an update on the scissors yet. Andrew has been traveling the United States. He today was his last. Normally we do our, our weekly call today, and today was his last day. He was going to be out on vacation, so hopefully I'll catch up with Andrew later this week or before the live stream next week, and I'll have hopefully updates on all the things uh, and release dates and stuff like that for everything by next week's live stream. But I don't have any updates right now because uh, Andrew been visiting the u.s he's not visiting he lives here he's been touring the u.s Ruben. Um, christopher okay. lopez maker's mark he says this maker's is mark is tough christopher because it is way the fuck up there at top where I so these are our suggestions yes maker's ahead. mark uh-huh maker's mark maker's marks too Cal Cal calumet calumet calumet, calumet 15 is good calumet. michter's blanton's gold what are you doing is she there? Yeah. Um, Blanton's Gold. Angel's Envy. Still Austin Barrel Proof. Ooh, you know what would Weller. Pro- you know what would probably be good is some of that Still Austin. What is it? Oated? I was wheat, leaning wheat. towards the Still I was gonna Austin. Say, I was going to say wheat, but it's the it's not wheat. It's a uh, Penelope White Label. Do you have that? Ooh, Penelope would be good. We don't have White we Label. We don't have White Label. The, the Penelope, the toasted, the Pravada, or the toasted would be good. What else? Knob Creek, Stag. We did Stag last week. Sagamore, E. H. Taylor. Sagamore is always good. Angels in the. Johnny Walker Double Black. I think I'm going to take a little nip of this just because I want to remember. Blue Run, that'd be good. I just want to get a little nip of this. I want to get a little nip. Is that the, t- oh, okay. It's the straight oated. Um. Ting. Um. Get out the viskies. A viski for you. A viski for me. Viski for you, viski for me. Visky for you, visky for bet. me, visky for you. I'm gonna get just a little. I'm gonna do just a tiny little nip. I have my lines back there. Just a tiny little nip. I mean, it's just a little bitty nipper, little bitty nipper, little bitty nipper doodle dandy. Blue run would be good. Of uh, this is that still Austin straight oated bourbon. This was that special release that they did, and. Uh, the reason I wanted to try it real quick is because I'm thinking this is going to be good with oh. a cigar. Because I remember correctly, this was very, very sweet. Oh. Hundred, I think it's a hundred. Fifty-four, so 108 proof. 108, 108, which is... It smells good. It which, smells like... Which is that. right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Six. I feel like it has a different... He says, Visky, my ass too. <laughs> Kevin Cruz, love those Viskies. Thanks, Brad. Available Do you below. have one? The available below. Blue Run 14. Yeah. Odie, man, that is a delicious pour. Mm. <laughs> what is this? Still Austin what? There. Straight oated. Mm. That's why it smelled different. That's the oated. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. I just did it a little bitty pour so we could maybe do a couple before the end of it. Yeah. Because you do too big of a pour and this would be it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Piper said question for me. Here, can you highlight it? Oop. Are all hospitals full of clicky, gossipy nurses? Are they like high schoolers? My wife always has some story to tell about yes. the clicks. Let me answer you that for you. I don't even work there. Yes. <laughs> they are. 
And she'll yeah. she'll she'll come home and have been there for twelve hours, and she'll be on the phone gossiping about some shit. And I'm like, you were we just you were just with these people for twelve hours. We're not gossiping gossiping about other people. We're talking about unit issues processes maybe certain like patient things that happened or whatever we do have i mean there are there are clicks i mean naturally people kind of you know are drawn to certain people you know people form friendships or whatever i think on my unit specifically everybody gets along really really well there's no like there's no really weirdness or anything like that no drama david stewart wants to know what you think about your new blade have you been wearing it Oh, oh me! Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was zoning out a little bit. Um, I have, I don't know. I don't wear it because most of the time, I have on I mean, like leggings or something. Yeah, she doesn't really have the. Appropriate... But I do keep it. I I used it today actually to open my Amazon box. I keep it in my kitchen drawer. She, but how do you like it? Oh, I like. Oh, I love it. I can open it real good now. With my little, little trick you showed me up with the side of my finger. Yeah, because you were like tipping it. I don't know. I, I don't know how to do it. You were, Just the you, tip. I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> now I use the side of my finger, like it works better. This. You swipe down because especially yeah. with you, because your nails are a little longer, you're gonna catch your nail. On yeah, it's gonna be annoying. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, but I do. I like it a lot. Works great. I feel real cool now that I have my own. Long ass Lucas. Long ash. But it's just my, long my, ash. my brain wants to say long ass Lucas. Some people do have long asses. <laughs> That's me. That's what they, they call <laughs> You don't have a long ass. No, you have a flat ass. It's called a long back where your back is <laughs> A continue. long back, it's yeah. Your, uh, yeah. Some uh, people have long ass, though. You know, it's like. Yeah. He says, when is the next Provada podcast? It should be out soon. We actually recorded it yesterday. Yesterday? Wednesday. What's today? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. yeah. We, rec we, we recorded it yesterday. Yeah, because I was at my yeah, thing. Yeah, we recorded it yesterday. So uh, they'll get that all edited up, and it should be out, I'd say, within the next few days to a week, I would imagine. We're a little behind this month because Brian was under the weather last week. Normally, we record it earlier in the month. We'd like to have it live by, like, the 15th, but he was a little under the weather, so we were a week late recording it. So, But it has been recorded and should be up soon. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. That, you know what? Talon and Mike, that could be fun. Here's the thing, though. Talon and Mike, neither one, I don't think, are big cigar guys. Uh, but, yeah, they're both great guys. I really enjoyed getting to hang out with those guys uh, when we went to Texas this year for the Beard Brand event. And um, those are just solid dudes, man. I had so much fun hanging out with those guys. So, yeah, maybe I'll reach out and see if they – I think Talon smokes cigars occasionally. I don't think Mike smokes cigars. I'm trying to remember if he smoked at all at the beard brand thing. I know they drink whiskey. I can't remember if they smoke cigars though. <laughs> there was some question I saw that I was gonna answer, but I had lost it. <laughs> Travis says, his wife says 100% yes at the hospital. I'm telling you, there's some, I think, listen, some clicky ass bitches no, up at the hospital. I think bro. that some units, when I think of click, I think a group of people that like don't want any they're not going to be friends with anybody else and they talk shit about other people and they're rude to the other people i mean you're going to have friend groups you know i mean a lot of that has to do with age and you know stuff you haven't have in common or whatever and we definitely there have is. that but nobody's we're not we're all friends we're, i have an amazing unit i think see your voice i'm very here, fortunate it's not just reading by the way i've been over here fucking struggling trying to find the seam so i could get that fucking wrap i'm over here doing it I can't <laughs> fucking struggling, bro. Uh, on the struggle bus. What did you decide on for whiskey? We poured the Austin, what, still Austin? Uh, still oak, Austin, what? straight Odin. <laughs> I'm like, oak something. It's straight out of Compton, straight Sh Odin. Straight out of oak? Straight out of, straight out of Austin. Hey, see what I did there? Straight out of Austin. See what I did? <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? clicks like church groups <laughs> yeah uh the beginner bundle cigar we talked about that last week we're trying um which one is that the is that with no that's not with brian that's with um cigar club, cigar club. i didn't know if we were but i'm thinking more. about switching it over to brian if we can't get the stock situation squared away with the guys at cigar club not that i don't like the guys at cigar club they've been great but 
a lot of people are asking about it and it's, it's, been, yeah. out, it's been out of stock for a while now. Yeah. The, the problem we had was the one cigar that was in the bundle is, was discontinued. So we were trying to get a replacement cigar. And uh, so there's been a little, little bit of a clusterfuck trying to get that all squared away. But um, I asked them about that like a couple weeks ago and they haven't, they're not the most responsive. Yeah. Communication's a Communication's little slow. Communication's a little slow. They're good guys, yeah. but communications back and forth is a little slow. So uh, if we can't get the shit squared away, then I'll just put one together with Brian because Brian's on it. I email Brian or any of his people and I get an answer within like an hour. Like on that, they're, they're, they're handling it. Somebody which, said Talon's getting into cigars. Is he? Okay, okay good. Talon's good. Side. If he's getting into cigars, maybe I will have him on. Talon's a fun guy, man. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to talk to him. I heard good things about him. Did you? From you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear shit on my own. On. <laughs> JC, yeah. I do. Uh, not all of them. For a while, I kept a, a, a bag. I had a couple big freezer bags full of cigar bands, and I was going to do something creative with them. And then I don't even know where they went. <laughs> I think I've lost them in some of the remodels. But uh, on new cigars in the Cigar Bible, there's a spot where I keep them all. So there is a, a little spot. So at least I have a little area so that I can remember what the cigar band was and kind of catalog and whatnot. But yeah, as far as keeping them all though, God, no, man, I smoke so many cigars. It would be like a fucking, like a avalanche of cigar bands in a closet somewhere. Good night, David. David Stewart's out. David Stewart's out. All right, ladies and cents. <laughs> and it says cents. he might already be out, but I'm headed to bed early day tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Love you guys. Love you too, David. Have a great night, buddy. Buddy, buddy, if you're not already gone. Uh, there was something else I was going to. Oh, when is the gun room video coming out? It's filming it now. I, I agree, Piper on the Bay. But what? Huh? What did he say? He said Bravada is, is better than Cigar Club. Oh, <laughs> I, well. <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. The guys at Cigar Club have been great. I have no great. I have no ill will toward the guys at Cigar Club. I think they're doing great things. They're great guys. I have a soft spot for Bravada. Me and Bravada, Brian with Bravada, hooked up. I was fairly early in my YouTube career. He was pretty early in starting up Bravada Cigar Club. And we just kind of have developed over the years a really good not just re working relationship with stuff but just friendship. a friendship so i kind of have a soft spot for those guys um yeah. so everything on it's to an be amazing person to, to be honest everything is a little um bias with me when yeah. it comes to them because I, I i truly love brian he's a good guy um and love what he's doing so uh i'm not the fairest judge well, you guys <laughs> you kind of came up at the same time and yeah it, it I'm not. It's I, a special thing. I I will admit when I'm biased about something. I'm not gonna hold any punches. I always disclose any relationship I have with companies. I don't try to keep anything under the rug. And I will admit, I'm biased when it comes to Pravada mm -hmm. because of our relationship. But I will say, from an unbiased perspective, shit with him is. It's, yeah. It's quick. It's to they're, the point. They're like they are on top of stuff. Shipping is quick. He's they're. And that's it's, why I said if the guys good. at Cigar Club can't get it pulled together, I'm going to just do a bundle with Brian, redo a beginner bundle with Brian because it's just so fast. It's like I guarantee you if there would have been a cigar discontinued with Brian and I would have said, hey, how about this one? The same day they would have responded or the, by the next day they would have responded with that cigar was available and would have been ordered. And he would have been like, all right, those cigars will be in this day. And we've yeah. already had it figured out. It's been like two, we three weeks. I feel with, like he has a good team. Yeah. And maybe, you know, like sometimes shit takes a while with us because it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just us. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's the same situation for them. I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh-oh. Another one out. Don't tread on me. Sad to say, check out for the night. Four o'clock comes early. Give me some things to listen to in the morning at work. Love you guys. Love you too, brother. Peace out. They're dropping like flies, y'all. They're dropping like flies. This starts we, to happen. We're still all right. It's uh, 10. It starts to drop at 10. About 10 is when people start. It's all right. It's all right. People got bedtimes. I get it. What's funny it's is. It's a we, weeknight. We originally said we were going to try to do 8 to 10 and be off by 10 because, you know, weeknight stuff. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. We're basing that on just East Coast people, right? I'm sure there's a ton of people that live in Central Mountain and uh, Pacific time zones. 
for those guys, it's still early as fuck. Yeah. You know, it's like... We have some people that watch from... And then we have some people, a lot of people overseas, so it's like fucking one and two in the morning and shit. Yeah. So you guys are goddamn troopers. Yeah. Troopers. That's why someone commented like way earlier when we started. They're like, light the cigar already. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess they were over there somewhere. See, Chris says he also got a personal welcome email from Brian. Great touch. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're yeah, good people. They're, they're good people over there, man. He's doing... He's, he's doing. He, the- he's just super passionate about what he does and... He's, he's good good people. <laughs> Adventure Smurf says, shit does take a while. Kind of like Jeremy's reading. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, See, shit. They pay attention, uh, these guys. What kind of hygrometers do I use? Uh, honestly, I don't even use one. <laughs> um, hold on. <clears throat> Jesus. Um, Allison says my, my sneezes are like the most violent thing. They're so aggressive. You guys, uh, if he sneezes, if he's backlit, <laughs> and he sneezes you can literally see the germs like mist into the air like all the little fine spit particles <laughs> just everywhere that's why i usually <laughs> everywhere i got something in my nose that's why i usually try to sneeze down or away from everybody because i know you anybody can stifle a sneeze it's possible dude i will blow you out can do it i will blow out an o-ring i will like shit myself you just and then I'll you fucking shit myself. Uh, no. It's too much back pressure. You can do it. That's too much back pressure. I mean, um, I'll blow a blood you'll be vessel. Fine. My my sneezes are so violent. <laughs> if I try to keep them in, I will either shit myself or blow a blood vessel in my eyeball or something. <laughs> It'll be bad. Um, hygrometer uh, question. I don't use one. Uh, mm. I find them all f- extremely frustrating and annoying. I used to just use Bovida packs. If you have a Bovida pack, you don't have to fucking worry about it because those things are dead ass on. I Through the years, I have learned to trust the Bovidas, and I said, fuck hygrometers because they're annoying. Um, they're never right. I've had I've tried 20 different brands. You got to calibrate them, and then they go out of calibration, and I fuck those things. Bovida packs, if you have a, a humidor that requires some kind of humidification, this new humidor I have has a automatic setting shit you just i don't never had to calibrate it it just it's pop on i don't know i don't know how it reads the humidity i don't know how it does it (laughs) but so far it's been fantastic and it's been like close to two months now i've had it uh what that yeah no 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 like one month oh well no yeah yeah no. Um, well, yeah. a little over a month. Well, no. They did the... Yeah. No. <laughs> they started the room at the beginning of May, so it was like mid-May, and it's, you know, it's the 20th or 21st. See, she's so. had a couple of whiskeys. See her over here rubbing my arm? She starts getting frisky. She, she has a little whiskey. I like your arm. She, she has a little whiskey, and she starts... At the beginning of the podcast, she's all... Meow, pfft, trying to, like, bite my head off. She's looking at me all mean. Like she, no, and I'm not. After a whiskey and a half in, she's, like, rubbing my arm. She's like... Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I don't, I don't have a good recommendation for... My recommendation for hygrometers is just use Bovida and fuck the hygrometers. Those things are annoying. Half of them are off you have to calibrate them all the time they go out it's bullshit bullshit um see see we got some like east coast or west coast people because he said somebody said it was like 11 a.m that's what i'm saying australia or something midday 12 o'clock midday we see we got we got peeps from i got hoes I got hope from different area go different area. What song was that? Um, I know the song. What is it, guys? Come on. Who is it? Let's see. Ludicrous. Ludicrous. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the blay. Get out the blay. <laughs> Get out the blade. Get out the blade. My man over Hang in on. Scotland. Catching the first live. Nice, dude. Aberdeen, Scotland. Dude, I would love to hear you talk. 
I absolutely fucking love. He loves love. a Scottish accent. I love a Scottish accent. I fucking love it. It just makes me happy to hear people from Scotland talk. Ho, oh, don't fucking, hey, ho, 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 what? goddamn. What? Fucking copyright. Oh. Well, that was can't only be, like two seconds. You can't be playing shit, dude. YouTube will fucking copyright this bitch and get all kinds. Of, you can't be It's pushed. not monetized anyway. It doesn't matter. They'll monetize that shit and then they'll be collecting money off of it. So? And they'll run that doesn't affect us at all. They'll be running ads on my shit. Oh. The, well. YouTube's weird about Ludacris has hoes in different area codes. Yeah, I we do. should be able to play music. That's dumb. Dude, you can't. One time, I years ago, I did a review on a speaker. And during the review, literally just to show the speaker, I just played like three seconds of yeah, a song on a speaker in a video, just and they copyrighted that shit. I yeah. was like, are you fucking kidding me? It's so crazy. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, see, Piper on the Bass says, no need for high grow with Bovada. I agree, man. You're Bo way behind. Am I way behind? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I saw that comment fuck. a long time ago. I need to like scoot way up, bro. I need to scoot. I need to scoot. Scoot, scoot. Luda, scoot. Area codes. Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> see, now you're current. Okay, move, bitch, or I'll get my blade. Get That's, out the way. Uh, Derek, I was wondering if Derek was going to pop in here tonight. What's up, Derek? Where's Derek? Oh, Derek Wilson. There he uh, is. Derek Wilson. You're late to the party. You on shift, Derek. <laughs> Derek's a firefighter. Go drain the vein, brother. He said he's got to pee. Go do it. Go do it. Go do it. <laughs> he said, thanks, Metallica. <laughs> Yeah, shit used to be not too crazy about copyrights till Metallica got all involved in that stuff. Oh, oh yeah, they were big on that, huh? Mm -hmm. With the Napster stuff. <laughs> Damn, Jeremy, you're drunk. No, I'm not. No. No. I'm just goofy by nature, man. I, I haven't seen this man drunk in... No. I, I, rare, I don't even... I mean, it's been, a, it's been a long time. I rarely get drunk. It's been a long time. Rarely. I was almost there when we did the... Like, buzzed a little bit. I was like not, dr not oh, drunk. Oh no, I haven't been drunk in. Oh, it's been a long time. <sighs> we were like young. I feel like. Dude, I was so drunk the night we went to Orlando. That was probably the last time I could remember being. Before we got married. Was it before we got married? That time that we went to Ounce of Adventure and stuff. Yeah, it was like a present. You got me a. I got it for your birthday. You got it for my birthday. Yeah, we, and we, we went down. Married yet? Dude, I was so, I got so fucking drunk. That was right before I moved in with you. I, yeah, I got so drunk that. We were both really I, drunk. <laughs> I was, dude, there was f pictures the next day of like chapstick. <laughs> we had pictures of Allison holding up chapstick in the hallway and taking pictures of chapstick. Why? She was taking pictures because we were fucking drunk. We didn't know what was going on. Why? Yeah. I was so bad. We were was, taking shots of something at the bar. I don't remember, but I was so hung over the next day. <laughs> That she had to go down. We were and, leaving. She had to go down to get the car, because I kept fucking dry heaving and puking, and I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it through the lobby without throwing he's up. He's like, call me when he's because we had valet or whatever. He's right. like, call me when you're in the car. Yes. And you're like, we're like ready to go. Right. Like I had all the stuff, all the things, and he just had uh, to like come to the car. I was so fucking hungover. And then we had to drive home, which it's only hour and a half or whatever. From I Orlando. was so hungover. It, but that was probably... I was hungover too, by the way. That was... Yeah, but you weren't puking everywhere. I was... <laughs> oh. yeah, That's was the bad. last time I can remember being really, really bad off. And that was... I was like, what? In my late 20s? Uh, I think it was your for your 30th. Okay, 30th. Uh, late 20s, early 30s. Yeah, something like I that. I haven't been drunk in probably over a decade. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. I just don't... I, one, I don't recuperate as well as I used to, and my body just doesn't handle it. So, I mean, I, I at most, will get a little buzz. At yeah. most. Uh, a buzz is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Odie Man, yes, I do turn red. I'm red do all you? the time. I'm red all the time. I'm red all the time. Yeah, he is. He stays red. Mm-hmm. I mean, compared, like, to me. Kimberly says, Bleh. yeah, that was me. It was, bad. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. That's why I don't even like getting that way anymore, man. It's like, what's the point? What is the point? Uh, uh, 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. We haven't done that tonight. What? I haven't reminded people to... Smash that like button. Smash that like button. There's a little, 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 little graphic there for you. I don't feel like it updates, because like mine only shows 12. Uh, Mine says 174. Yeah, mine doesn't... Mine never updates. 174, I but I will mention there's 277 people currently in here and 174 likes. We've so, been doing good. So not not. We to, appreciate uh, you guys coming hanging out every week. <laughs> I don't get drunk drunk anymore. Just hung over. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like it's it. The older you get, man, it's just not worth it. It's just not. I drink because I enjoy the flavor. I think whiskey is delicious, and I enjoy it with cigars. And I'll have. Drink liars. I'll have over an evening. The the closest I've been to like a heavy buzz, where I had to like dial it back a little bit in the last whatever was when we did that damn one video. <laughs> Yeah, that's because we tasted like was, 20 whiskeys Yeah, or it was the, the whiskey blind shit we did. The, the, it was the budget. The was budget, it budget? Was it the budget whiskey blind? Yeah, and I think we tasted like 18 whiskeys in an evening. Yeah. And halfway through, I was like, we got to pump the fucking brakes. And, you know, we thought, oh, it's not going to be that much because we'll just take a sip. But you take a sip, and then you have to, like, take another sip mm -hmm. to get your feels about it. Mm -hmm. And then you go back through and have to take... It ends up being a lot. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time I can remember where I had a pretty heavy buzz going and I had to back it down and go eat some food and like let it marinate for a minute because I was on the way to being a little sloppy. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't, I don't feel the need. Plus I have a weird thing about not being in control as I've gotten older. I don't want to be. He's always my DD if we ever go anywhere. Yeah. We don't I, go a lot of places. But, uh, but yeah, when we do. I, I never have to worry because I'll he just, doesn't ever drink when we go. No. And if I have had one drink, I won't drive. Right. Like, there, so therefore he does not drink at right. all. I, if I, we go out anywhere. No. And I know technically. The only place he drinks is here. I know technically you can have a drink and drive because one yeah. won't put you over the limit. But I don't want the responsibility of if I had a drink and then I were to get in an accident, I would, even if legally I was okay, I would feel like I could have possibly prevented that if yeah. I hadn't had that drink. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So if I've had any alcohol, any alcohol at all, yeah, I, don't, I, at I all. don't drive. Um, so that's just me, though. I know I'm probably a, a FUD, a boring, but that, that's just... He's I, responsible. I like being in control of, especially if I'm out in public, I like being in control of my faculty. So if the shit hits the fan, I can handle whatever happens. Yeah. Last thing you want to be is drunk and the shit hits the fan and you can't handle your shit. That's just a, a bad situation. I can't tell you the last time I've been like drunk. Like, drunk. Like not able to... I don't know, act appropriately. Mm. It's been a minute. Kevin Cruz says, yeah, I get comfy. I don't push the limits. You like get I comfy. Used. Right. You get a nice where if you, like, if you, if you can, if you stop or slow down, you're like back. You know what I mean? It's like a right. quick return to baseline. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, uh. That comes with age. I feel like you should, you know, your limits, you know where you're at and you can kind of like keep it. That's another good point. Can't drink if you're carrying. Yeah, that's true. And I and he always is so. always carry. And I don't want to be in a situation where that's a problem. So I just choose to uh, I choose to be responsible. And I have a cigar lounge at my house. You know what I mean? I can sit up here and sip on whiskey and not worry about it. If I'm out in public and I've got a gun and I'm driving a vehicle, I want to do the responsible thing and be in full control of all my faculties. <laughs> Um, so that's just me. Uh, well, we need to switch uh, whiskeys. <laughs> Piper said, after hours is my click. <laughs> I'm a homebody. Yes. That's what I'm saying. We're bro. homebodies too. Even at home, I don't like getting two because then I'm always worried like. No, we don't. I mean, what if something happens to one of the kids? Yeah. And then I've got to jump in the car and, and handle it. Certainly some not shit. both of us. Right. You know? But really not ever either of us, truly. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I just turned 45 last, this month. Last month. Wild. Last month, 45. So the very last day of the month. 45. Yeah. Wild. 
<laughs> speaking speaking of like work and stuff, I'm at the I'm at the age at work now where a lot of the um, the nurses that I work with, like I could be their mom, and it's um, it's disturbing. It's 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 an experience. <laughs> it's like uh-huh. I don't realize it until someone asks them how old they are, and they're like 22, and I'm like. Oh my god! Like yeah. oh my god! Which I've been a nurse for twenty years, so obviously, I don't have a kid that's almost eighteen. So clearly, I could have kids that age. But um, yup, it's weird when they're actually like working with me, doing the same job that I do. It's uh, and they're it's, like it's a little weird. They're like your son's age, and you're like, oh yeah, ooh. I'm like, oh, I could like set you. Oh, wait, no. you're like you're like this is. <laughs> I don't think I trust you with my care. Yeah, it's. Interesting. Interesting, for sure. Okay, what's our next pour? Next pour, guys, what do y'all think? Uh, I think... Just I, like a little pour, because it's like 10... I think Penelope. Let's do a little pour of Penelope. The toasted, or... Do you want to do toasted, or do you want to do the Pravada? Let's do the Pravada, because I think we did toasted... Um, Pravada. A couple weeks ago. The Pravada. Uh, where's it at where's my focus where's my focus you know I tried to change the focus to a better spot there it is Booyaka Penelope bourbon barrel strength Pravada select so this was a barrel pick that Pravada did of little nip that's good that's good Little, little nip just little nippies. Just yeah. little nippers. 31 oh. years a nurse. God bless her. It's a... Oh, shit. It's, it's a tough job sometimes. Spilling shit everywhere. Spilling shit everywhere. Okay. Okay. Hey, Listen. Al, I sent a super chat. Where, Rune King? Did we miss it? Did we? Oh, did, there we go. Yeah. Where? We missed one from Rune King. Did we miss one? Thanks for calling me out. <laughs> Rune King, I'm yeah, sorry, buddy. Yeah, he was up a bit. He said, oh, shit. Jeremy, yeah. any chance you're going to be going to Big Smoke in November in Vegas? Uh, Rune King, by the way, sorry we missed your super chat. And thank sorry you for the that. super chat. Um, no. No. Uh, I very seriously doubt it. Uh, just because... Travel is rough for me. It puts me behind in Vegas. Travel plus a holiday month where we already have like a like week. Like a lot of kind shit of a going week on. Off. Yeah, that would be um, Which be is tough. why I always want to go to SHOT if Show. If we were closer, it would be fun. I always want to go to SHOT Show, but if I'm not mistaken, SHOT Show is always in Vegas, and that's just like, oh, that's an undertaking for me to handle that. So probably not. I won't say definitely not, but I will say probably not. But thank you for the super chat. Sorry. Oh, and, you, and you've got a couple... You got a couple more. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. No, just go all the way back down. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. T bake. What's up, my dude? <laughs> Dang, Jeremy. Missing my messages. Oh, sorry. Uh, which cigar cigars should I go with? Or should I go with when I open my Dalmore cigar malt? You know, here's the thing about cigar malt. It's pretty much good with any cigar. Uh, that is, uh, I I don't know that. They blended that. I don't know why they call it cigar malt. I, I remember hearing the story at one point, but I can't recall exactly what it is, so I don't want to misspeak. But I know that that is a fantastic cigar scotch. Had it multiple times. I've actually got a bottle of it right over there. I don't know if you can see it. It's in the far. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Where is it? <laughs> where, where? It's it's behind Al's mic. What are you doing? It's right. Which one's cigar what are you? It's right. Ah, I, I'm trying to point to the cigar malt. I was pointing. Um, I was pointing. Look, look. I'm pointing to. Oh. I'm pointing to. <laughs> it's right there. No, there. Which one's cigar malt? <laughs> Which one's cigar malt? The darker one or the lighter one? The one. This one. The far. So the one in the far corner, right there behind the dump truck. Do you need me to get it? No. Are you uh, referring to me, sir? Yes. Um, yes, yes, I am. Your mic's all fucked up, too, so you're going to have to fix that. That's um, your fault. Basically, anything's good with cigar malt. 
I wouldn't go with anything too crazy because it isn't a crazy high proof. And if you go with like a crazy dank cigar, it might wash it out a little bit. But like, if you want to go all bouge, like a good Padron would go good with it. Uh, a good Davidoff, like the the one that they've talked about in the chat a few times, the the Winston Churchill late night hour, that would be a good one. Um, it depends on what you have access to. Did you already sip this? Not yet. It depends on what you have access to, but it is good with a lot of stuff. It's a very good cigar scotch. I would just not go with a super, super bold cigar. I would go with like a medium bodied cigar um, with it. So hopefully that answers your question. Sorry, we missed it. And thank you for the super chat. Oh, JF. Uh, better late than never had to represent for the nods. Love you guys. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. And that will go right into the old oh, at a $20. Thank you, sir. $20. I think $20 gets, gets, uh, up in the, the, <laughs> the rain. Um, let's see. Oh, Kimberly says she just brought her husband some red breast 12 for father's day to drink with cigars. He loved it. Thank you for the recommendation. Love it. Awesome. Kimberly, I'm happy to hear it, man. Yeah. Uh, happy red, breast, here. red breast 12 is, uh, I don't like a lot of Irish whiskeys. Uh, they're just not my flavor profile for the most part, but red breast is one of the exceptions. Red breast is, it is buttery vanilla biscuity and i don't mm, mean that I, sounds good i don't mean biscuits like our kind of biscuits i mean like biscuits like british people say biscuits like a butter cookie mm. like it, it it's 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 a lovely not a buttermilk biscuit not not no not like a butter like biscuit and milk gravy well we call it milk gravy but i think they call it sausage gravy yeah my family calls it milk gravy i've you, never heard it called milk gravy we call it milk gravy because you make it with grease and milk <laughs> i mean that's why we call it milk gravy it's Grease, milk, flour, and sausage, or bits of sausage and whatnot. Um, but Kimberly, that's awesome. I'm glad he enjoyed it. Got a couple of EMS guys in here. Derek Wilson and Duke. EMS for 20 years. Do you guys think nurses are bitches? I feel like we're probably kind of bitchy when you guys come in sometimes. Derek Wilson says cigar malt. I apologize malt. if Der we are. Derek Wilson says cigar malt is fantastic. It is. <laughs> it's, it's, some, it's some good shiz. Joe Cloud, what's up, my dude? Thank you for the super chat. What is your favorite cigar in the Liga Pravada line? Uh, in the Liga Pravada line, it is the T52. The T52, especially if you can find it in a flying pig, is real good, man. I love that cigar. But really, any size, the T52. I know the Liga number nine is the more popular. Uh, more people would probably say the Liga number nine is, is their favorite. But I particularly enjoy the T52. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. It's nub time. It's time. <laughs> da, 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 da. It is nub. I oh, almost poked it too high. Almost poked it too high. That was almost a. That was almost a high poke. It's nubbin time. Nubbin. Nubbin. Nubbin time. Oh, okay. That was him responding to somebody else. Um, Jeremy might be moving to Florida. Where do you recommend that is out of the city by not, but not to buy not to out? But not too out in the country. Oh, it's okay. But so see, that was that was a typo. That wasn't me being retarded. Um, well, it's a little mix of the two. Uh, man, uh, well, I mean, like where in Flo like what what area of Florida are you moving to? Yeah, that makes a big difference. Because there's lots of places. There's there's a lot of places. I would just off the rip. I would say stay north of Orlando. Yes. The further south Florida you get, the harder it gets to uh, find that type of thing. Uh, it's a little more, eh. Uh, not to bitch at people that live in South Florida. Uh, South Florida's fine. I just prefer Orlando up, personally. Um, Where we are is kind of like out of the city, but not yeah. out. We're like St. John's County. St. It's growing a lot, but like Fleming Island is nice. And like Green Cove Springs, that area is like a little more out, but not like so far away. It depends on where you're at, but... 
of what part of Florida you're talking about yeah. moving to, but there are plenty of places in Florida that you can get. Like I said, St. Augustine's great. There, St. Augustine's great because you've got places that are down in the city, but you also have a lot of very like country places in St. Augustine, not in the city limits, but it's still like, we don't live in the city limits of St. Augustine, but our address is still St. Augustine. Yeah. Um, but there are places that are, I mean, you can still get acreage. Yeah. It's not going to be cheap, but you oh. can get acreage and it still feels very much like it's within. I mean, just a few miles down from where we are, you can get. Right. You can still, you're still within a very short driving distance to like all the shit, but you, you don't feel like you're in all the shit. You're still kind of out. Well, we still had lots of cows out here yeah. <laughs> not too long ago. I mean, literally, there's still cows within. Are there still some in that oh, one yeah. field? That one field. There's still cows within like a half a mile of our house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes me sad. They're all going away, but. Yeah. We need food places, too, so, <laughs> you know. Jacksonville area. Oh, you're fucked. No, bro. you don't want. You don't want to do no. that. No. You want to come, if you're moving to Jacksonville area, you want to go... South. 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 St. John's. Moving to somewhere in St. John's County. Yeah. Don't don't stay in Duval, man. Don't stay in Duval, bro. No. no. I, listen, I lived in... It's Ru worth the, It's worth the travel. If you're working in Jacksonville, it's worth the travel. I lived in Duval. In Saint, I to went Saint to John's. high school in Duval. I've got no hard feelings toward Duval. Yeah, same. It's just a clusterfuck in it's Duval. It's very crowded and... Yeah. I mean, there's some nice areas, but you're not, you're in it. There's nowhere in Jacksonville where you're like out. Uh -huh. Like you're, you're in it. So yeah. St. Def John's County. And you can be in St. John's County and not, and be still close. Yeah. I mean, you could be in Jacksonville, not downtown Jacksonville, but you can be in St. You can be in uh, Jacksonville city limits within 10 minutes yeah. of, of St. John's County. Yeah. I would stay in St. John's County. Especially if you got kids, schools yeah. in, schools in St. Johns County are way better than the schools in Duval County. Yeah, oh, oh, way better. Rune King, what is up? What about Big Smoke Meets Whiskey Fest in Florida? It happens in the beginning of the year. It was great this year. I don't know where. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't I don't know where that one's at. I'm gonna really try to make it to Pravaticon this year. Yeah, uh, can uh, I come this time? Yeah. yeah, this time we've never been before, but I mean like to this thing. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Because Ophelia will probably be there. Yeah. Be fun. I still haven't had a sip of this Pravada. It's good. Ormond Beach. Ormond Beach is so pretty. Mm. I went there, um, just went to the beach with a friend of mine a couple of years ago, and it. I felt like I was on vacation, and it wasn't even that far from me. I think it was like an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. I should do that again. Aldemir. <laughs> says live in Ocala since the eighties was, uh, in the eighties was pretty quiet and boring, but now plenty of people move from the North. It's completely different animal. Yeah, it is. I feel like Ocala is still pretty chill though, Ocala, man. Yeah. I feel like you can still get some pretty chill areas out there in Ocala. Um, it definitely is much different than from the eighties for sure. Ocala in the eighties was very, yeah. very chill. Uh, it definitely is, but I feel like Ocala is still, I actually was looking, in the Ocala area, actually a little bit north of Ocala, there was some land that I had looked at. I was thinking about buying because that's not that far of a drive from us. And I was looking for an area that I could buy 40, 50 acres. So that way I could, A, have a place to shoot so that I could have a place to go and like camp and like have a little, maybe build a small cabin eventually, have a place to build maybe a gun range so I could do a lot of these shooting videos and stuff. Uh, so I was kind of looking out in that general region. I think it was 40 or 50 acres out that way I was looking at. Scroll down. You got a super chat. Super chat. And he was leaving, so. Oh, I Joseph. I think Big Al needs some nods. Mm. I'm also out. Love you guys and the content. Joseph, <laughs> thank you. Oh, dude. It's that's, going to take us a that, while. Hold on. That is, <laughs> that's 50. Thank you, buddy. Joseph, Joseph broke off a fucking chunk on that one. We appreciate you, It's going to take us a while to get to where we can pay for his. So yeah, I'm good. We can share. Yeah. We can share. I don't need, I don't need my own. I appreciate the sentiment, but Joseph, I appreciate Thank you, you very man. much. I think earlier Joseph said this was one of the first times he got to join. I think, oh, good. I think that was Joseph that, that said that earlier. If I'm remembering correctly. When um, is Pravaticon? Perviche. 
I just said Praviche. <laughs> I went to say appreciate you, and you said Pravada, and my brain tried to switch it to fucking something else. I went Praviche, fucking jiggy, <laughs> fucking stroke, stroke count. <laughs> we need to have a tally. Uh, pre- appreciate you, Joseph. Thank you, my brother. Have a good night. Um, Chris says, Ocala, though. big horse country. Ocala's badass, man. I like Ocala. Like I said, I, I was looking for some uh, some land out in that general general area. Uh, 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 when is uh, well, you didn't answer my question though? Wh- what'd you ask me? When's Pravaticon? Don't know. Oh. Well, I'm gonna find out. Do y'all <laughs> know? Do y'all know when it is? <laughs> Piper Bay says he wants the quads, dude. The quads are. At, I will be. The, the nods the, the nods fund will be going until 2024 if I get quads those fucking things would you stop with the armpit you know that shit I cannot stand the, the side um, stop it um, the quads nurses are, need nods quads are so expensive I'm just going for duels double what do they call them uh, what do they call the dual the, dual is it dual what do they call those yeah is it dual Doubles, duels, tube, tubes, dual, tube. du- dual tubes, double that? tube, double, double tubes, dual tubes. <laughs> what's the what's the correct terminology there? I don't know. I'm just going for the the doubles. Um, the quads are so expensive, dude. So expensive. I mean, quads you're getting into I like I don't know. you're getting into crazy, crazy money for quads. I mean, twenty, thirty, forty grand for for that. See, I knew my dudes would come through. It's not listed yet when it's going to be. Thank you, Rune King. Yeah, I didn't think Rune it Rune King. Binos. I need to know that's your the name. Word, that's the word I was looking for. Binos. That's, binos? Could, yeah. Two bino, binocular, two. Oh, bifocals. Side by side. Binos. Rune King. Rune King. I need to know your name. Binos is the word I was looking for. And, well, Piper on the back. I, I, I like Piper. I can call him Piper. But Rune King, Thor, I need to know. Your first name. Why does anybody need to know his first name? Maybe he so I can call him by his name. Maybe he doesn't want to know his name. Well, he doesn't have to reply if he doesn't want to. I mean, you know, some people have their names as <laughs> other things, so they don't want people to know who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? There's like a little bit of, a little bit of privacy. But I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> Let's see. When was Probaticon last year? See, John says, quads are insane to run at night. Duels with a pano are a blast to run. So, dual tubes. Dual duels tubes. Duels with the pano. Binos is what they're called. Okay. I've heard people say binos, dual tubes. I've heard, I was thinking of the terminology. But I'm just, uh, my, the, my, one, my one okay. boy, Logan, he swears by a single tube. He likes a single tube. He's a fan he could definitely. He works at a gun store, so he. That's for, the first coast guy. Yeah, he could for sure run binos if he wanted to, but he likes, and he's given me a lot of reasons why he likes running a single tube. But he's a big fan of the single tube. He's a single tube kind of guy. I think I'm going to go for the dual tubes. Isn't a single tube is probably less expensive, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You can get a good single tube for. I mean, a good single tube for probably five, six, like a really good one. Well, why don't you do that? Because I want the binos. I want, I want the dual tubes. It's going to take forever, though. Um, I don't know. Not necessarily. I mean, you know, you mix uh, the, the nods fun that's going with some T-shirt sales and throw in maybe a, a little uh, extra something something and you look up and you got some. You got some, some. If I can get if I can talk to the guys at EOTech because I've gotten a little bit of a relationship going with those guys if i can get those guys to give me uh, sell me a pair at cost it could be really good yeah i haven't approached them with that request yet but uh i plan on doing it soon they may say a hell no um but they were very uh, forthcoming and giving me some sites and stuff for my 300 blackout build now i know that giving me uh a holographic site and a magnifier and some stuff like that isn't near the cost of uh, night vision, but I'm not asking for it for free. I'm just saying, hey, we sell it to me at cost. Yeah. So maybe we'll see. We'll see. 
Joe Cloud, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Love the T-52s and have a box of the pigs. What is your favorite cigar at the moment? Man, I hate that question. <laughs> Not that I hate your question. I appreciate yeah. you. But me and my wife were just actually talking about this earlier. Uh, I was saying I hate it when people ask me, like, what's my favorite whiskey or cigar? Because it's such a hard thing for me to nail down. I have so many favorites. Like, I feel like when I was earlier in my cigar journey and I'd only smoked 50, 60 different type, kind, brands, names, whatever of cigars, it was easier for me to nail down, like, this is my favorite. But at this point, I've smoked so many cigars and I love so many different cigars for so many different reasons that it's so hard for me to pick a favorite. It depends on my mood. It depends on what I'm doing if I'm drinking whiskey with it, if I'm drinking coffee with it, if I'm smoking it in the morning, if I'm smoking it in the evening, there's so many different. So that's such a hard question. So I said, I hate that question because that sounds mean. It's just such a hard question for me to answer because I just love cigars so much in general. Um, if I had to pick a favorite right now, I can't. I can't. There's just too many because every time I think of one, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's really good. But my favorite, and I said this in the live stream about a week ago, my favorite cigar that I've had lately, caveat, lately, not my favorite cigar, but the one that surprised me the most, and I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was great, it was the new A.J. Fernandez Dorado that I did in, I think, one of the first live streams we did. That was a newer cigar that I hadn't smoked before. I typically really like the A.J. Fernandez New World line, and I was really impressed by that cigar. So if I'm going off lately, I would say my favorite cigar lately has been that A.J. Fernandez New World Dorado. That cigar was fantastic. But it's tough because, man, there's so many other cigars that I like this cigar tonight. I really love this cigar. I love the uh, Le Carême we're going to smoke next week. I think that's fantastic. Here's the thing. You can't ask Jeremy as favorite of anything. Oh, stop it. Unless it's a woman. Stop it. Stop it. Because then hopefully he would only have one answer. Stop it. But truly. Stop it. <laughs> he has multiple. I you do. do. I do. You do. Multiple women, too. She just doesn't know. Do <laughs> just kidding, dude. She has all the personalities I can handle. <laughs> he doesn't leave the house. So <laughs> it makes it real, real easy for me. Um, do you have final notes on that? Final notes, the chocolate and coffee notes definitely came in at the end. So final notes on this. Um, it, it does pick up at the end. I would say at the end, it probably does venture toward the medium full category. Uh, still medium, medium full. I would, it's not full. It never goes to full. I'd say it goes most of the cigar. It hovers in the medium category. And then toward the end, it does kind of drift toward the medium full. Toward the end, you do pick up some of those like darker chocolate coffee kind of notes to come in. Um, what else did I say? Still musty, leather, tobacco, chocolatey coffee. Yeah. I d I, and that, that's actually a good point. I did get kind of like an oaky, toasty, oaky kind of flavor at the end. So there's like a, a coffee and a chocolate and like a toasty oaky kind of flavor that comes in in addition to what it's had the whole time. So still like the musty kind of nice musty. Um, How many times can you say musty? Well, cause it's shit. Well, cause I get this basement mineral basement, mineral. musty mineral and musty together. It's like a minerally musty. It reminds me of a basement floor. I know that's the fucking weirdest thing ever. Somebody said earlier, like, man, he's really making me want to smoke that cigar because well, it doesn't sound good at all. But see, I love it, though. Yeah, no, clearly you do. What do you say? Leather, pepper, nutty, sweetness. Leather. There's definitely some Flavors leather. Flavors really pick up towards the end. Yep. Flavors pick up toward the end. Leather, a little bit of nutty, a toasty, oaky kind of flavor, some chocolate stuff and espresso or, or chocolate. I wouldn't say espresso. More like a coffee flavor come in at the end. Um but yeah, and, and like I said, it picks up in a little bit. But overall, I know that some of my notes may come across a little strange, right? But just to give you an idea, I rated it a 92 out of 100. So, I mean, I loved it. It burned great. The construction was great. I didn't have any draw issues, any tunneling, any of the bad shit that you get. 
uh, it burned straight as an arrow. The draw was good the whole time. The band is fantastic. It's a bit of a novelty, but it looks really cool with the whole hexagon. Hexagon? Six sides? Hexagon? Yeah. Hexagon shape. It's just an enjoyable cigar. And even though it is like 20 or $21, I, I, I don't think it's bang for the buck category, but I think it's, it, it's worth it. I've had cigars more expensive that I liked a lot less. So I think it holds the value for, for what they're asking for them. I really enjoy it. I think it's a great cigar. 92. Like I said, I rated it at 92. So hell, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you looking at Kevin's comment? No, I'm looking at what do you mean? Oh. Musty nuts. <laughs> What'd Kevin say? Kevin said musty, dusty, trusty, damp horse sack, leather, tarnished leather, these nuts. <laughs> Almost missed one. With a hint of vanilla. <laughs> Isaiah, what's up? Thank you for super chatting, brother. That's oh, enough that feeling rich for tonight. <laughs> Going to get the wild turkey going. Yeah, man. <laughs> are you a fan of Padron cigars? Absolutely, man. Padron cigars are delicious. Uh, specifically, I always get them mixed up, and I forget until I buy them both, and then I smoke them. <laughs> the 1964, 1926. I think it's the 1926 I prefer, but it could be the 1920. Is it 1924? Are those the two, the 24 and the 64? No. 26? Fuck. What is it now? I, get them, I have I, no idea what you're talking about. The two Padrones that I like, and I like them in the Maduro, because both of those cigars, if I'm not mistaken, come in a natural and a Maduro. I prefer the Maduro. And I think it's the 26. It's a 26 and a 64, if I'm not mistaken. And I think the 26 I prefer of the 64. But th did you fucking just see that? I, oh, I thought you were blaming it on me. I was like, I did not do that. No, I smacked the edge of the, the cigar bottle. I thought you were going to say, did you just do that? No, I hit the edge of the cigar bottle like, and smacked my, smacked my cigar and fucking ashes went everywhere. Um, but yes, I do love Padron cigars. I think Padron cigars are fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, wrap it up, babe. Oh, shit. It's 1044. It's a little late. It is a little late. I knew it was going to go long because this cigar takes forever to smoke. It's almost done, guys. It's almost done. I got to give one little relight here because I... Um, Thank, thanks all 206 of you for staying all the way till the end. I, uh, 202. Knocked my... They're dropping like flies, babe. Dropping like flies. Let's see. 205. I see 202. 201. 201. They're dropping. <laughs> They're dropping. One last time got to do it before you guys head out for the night we appreciate y'all hanging out with us it was a good one as always I enjoyed all the whiskey enjoyed all the comments talking to all you guys getting to hang out the cigar we've was been fantastic married. how long have we been married how long have we been married fifth uh 14 we got married in 08 14 or 15 years i think this year's our 15th is it yeah if we were in 08 yeah yeah so this will be our 15th right 08? And 23. Yeah. 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 This will be our 15th. Shit. In December. We should do something fun. In December, we will have been together for 15 years. But we've known each other since we since were... Since we were 20... 21. I was 21. I, 22. I was 22. Mm-hmm. 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 All sorts of shenanigans going on back then. Oof. Those were... Those were... Those were hard times, y'all. <laughs> hard times. But we enjoyed it, guys. It was good. The cigar was great. The company was great. The company was great. The whiskey was good. The drink was good. It was all good. Definitely go check out all the links below. Help uh, support all the people that support the channel. All that good stuff. Love you guys. Uh, next week, if you guys want to get it in time for the live stream, like I said, links are below. Next week, we're doing... The Le Carim from Crown Head. So we're getting off the um, Placencia bandwagon we've been on for the, the beginning part of this month, and we're going over to Crown Heads. Oh, I thought it was all Placencia no, this month. No, we're doing Crown Heads Le Carim le next week, which is a fantastic cigar. Fantastic. So if you want to get that in time for the live stream next week, that was so rude. Go check it out. There's one more super chat on there if you want oh, to acknowledge one, that before we go. One more super chat before we go. For the nods, keep it going. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, Darren. Appreciate you very much, my Thank brother. Thank you, guys. 
Love all you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. We will see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. We'll be here. Be there or be square, <laughs> bitches. Love y'all. Smooches. Bye.